All right, this is gonna be. All right. Yeah, so I guess if there's not a fourth person, then I probably yeah. wouldn't be, huh? Well, you can solo it. <laughs> you can. Yuri, uh, Yuri, because Yuri, I asked yesterday just because I was like, I saw him. I was trying to get Sal, but Sal's a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm streaming <laughs> really? now. Yeah. I got to break his balls at Sal. He was too um, busy being supply blocked at 54 54. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, you know, Candle T Cats? Yeah. You want to try to get him? Yeah. Candle could, if he's free, that'd be awesome. Yeah, he's he's doing something with League of Legends right now, but he might uh, be willing. We got Stark and Yuri. We can in musical casters if, when they're free. I mean, the three of us can try to. I just, you know what I mean? It's usually better with two people. No, I know what you mean. And I still haven't done, I got to check the seating again and see if anybody joined up. And I got to go get, add my links. Unless I joined, muted my mic, and just was like the, the cameraman. Yeah. Hold on, who's messaging me? Slip. You're always late. It's always post, sorry, in my Discord, in announcements, and check TL. Slip, Jip. Freaking slippy. Sorry. The gypster. He's like, you gotta at everyone. <laughs> Top of the server. Yeah, I'll do. All right. Dave and Dan's cash grab number two. Nightbot commands custom. Bro, at the end of the night last night, I got so many mirror matchups. It was pissing me off. <laughs> I kept getting PVPs. Yeah, no, I was same shit. Cannon rushers, douchebags. I, I just yeah. got to a point where I'm like, <clears throat> you know, there's no sense in playing normal right now in, in Diamond League. I was talking to Yeti about it. Because honestly, I'm having better. I'm like, I'm just going to have the most random shit, even if I scout it. I'm like, yeah. all right, now I'm set up for fucking charge, but I got like cloak banshees. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm, you know <laughs> oh, what I'm Trust me. I know it was, bro, I swear, playing in Diamond League is the most annoying thing ever. <laughs> fucking slip chip. He's asking me, when's the 5.5k in under tournament? I'm like, bro, hit me up when I'm not setting up uh, a fucking tournament right now. You know what I'm saying? What up, Mr. Green? Green Ultralisk says, once upon a time, I fell on my ass. Story over. I'm still trying to see if Candle is going to come Who? or not. Who asked? No, oh. no, no. Oh, I've been A-moved again. All right, so... Yeah, I messaged him too. Yuri. I don't think I know who Yuri is. Which is a yeah. Grandmaster Terran player. Eurystheus. I gotta make sure he's got the caster tag. I think he does. I've casted with him. Before. Hey, hey, hey! Who wants to have some? Lawrence, yo, thank you, brother. Uh, thanks for the raid. We were hoping to have you in with us, but I know it was bad timing on my part. I forgot to check with you. I called that you did have work when I had this, but we could have done it earlier or some shit, but I was sleeping. Uh, thanks for the raid. And we got King Stark with me right now. We're waiting for Yuri. And I gotta ch I gotta log in a game.
The players are probably like, where the fuck's Dave? <laughs> um, yeah, I did do that for the delay. My bad. How's everybody doing? And guys, we have match Reno codes. All right, everybody. We're going to get everybody in. All right, we're going to get this set up. Yuri channel Dave Testa because Testa is glitched. Yeah, so it's chan yeah, you know Stark how that Testa channel yeah. was fucked up. Yeah. Because I think we had to have people join my channel last time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, that was oh, that I one. See, I see him on Dave Testa, though. Yeah, on Dave Testa. That's the thing. I was making sure Yuri was in. Uh, Yuri must be just getting to us. I told him to get in Discord, but let me take a look at the bracket. Hanmano is checking in. That's good. I hope Percival comes. But he's like, bro, that's really late for me. Oh, he checked in. Based. We got Percival. We got Max Packs. Is B-Store coming? I'm going to message him. All right. I'm going to try to message B-Store if I have it. Yep, I do. Zergimba. All right. I'll I'll do that in ladder after. <laughs> Zergimba. Honestly, I wish I didn't have we didn't have a delay today, but fuck it. Protoss OP Terranimba. That's where you get chat. You get a re in your fucking ear. All right, we're getting ready. We got a good bracket. We got max packs today. Oh, buddy. Where the fuck's Yuri, bro? You can tell I'm in pro mode today, uh, Stark, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, uh, I woke up late and didn't sleep until morning, so. Kinda... Uh, I see Yuri. He's in the uh, chat now. Oh, is he? Yeah. Yeah. You got my message. I was just thinking we could always split up too and catch different stuff because there's a lot of shit to then meet together, you know, even if it's you, me, and Yuri. That would be, we got a lot of good games. But yeah. I would like to do. What up, guys? I'm just trying to update my commands. Yeah, I gotta log into my Nightbot too, actually. Yeah, we got the... All right, let me see here. I have to close out of a lot of shit before we get rolling here. Processing check-in, participants. Sibba John says, I believe in the ground toss with my ever-loving Robobay beside me, but it does not right, know about my Stargate my or the void I build last night. Too. Do you believe in ground toss? Cause that is what I'm selling. All right, fucking TTS. I'm muting it. Sorry, so, uh, Simba John. But that was a little much when we're trying to get stuff set up here. <clears throat> um, yeah, so 
Bracken is live. And Stark TV King Stark. If Flapjack gets on, I'm gonna get his ass in here, but he always dodges me. I need to give Yuri the roll. Alright, Yuri didn't have the perms. Oh, uh, to join Discord? Yeah. Nicarax says, oh, Jesus Christ. Does he have max packs? Yo. Yo, what up, Yuri? Guys. What's hey, up, man? I thought you had the roll. Somebody didn't. I'm going to give you a fucking... Yuri's based enough. For <laughs> a long... We've been friends for a long time. Can they cast? Because I'm fine casting on my own. I don't have You're... to cast with anybody. Alright, I mean, we can do that too. Truthfully, and then just, we'll get together. I'm gonna bug you guys independently or on the side. When we get to, like, semis and stuff, we all gotta get together. Okay. I'm trying to get... Yeah, we can get together for semifinals. That's fine. We can, uh, we could switch off. Do that way, you know, you're not by yourself the whole time. Because I was, I mean, it, it's from it sounded like I was gonna end up being on my own. So, if you want, we could just switch off. I mean, it's up to you, though. Okay. Uh, uh, it's the, early yet, so <laughs> I don't really. There's plenty of matches, you know. Yeah, for sure. All right, I'm gonna get Han Mono with you, or Yuri. You might want Han Mono. That's you're Terran. <laughs> you know what I mean. But what do you guys want? I was you looking. Do? We could just bounce in channels here, and then we can Han Mono over. against two. Hold on, hold on. Uh, it's Han Mono against. Uh, Pikachu, toss. he's like a platinum player. <laughs> Zerg. <laughs> Pikachu <laughs> plays in everything. Is Dave we toss in Twitch chat. He's... Yeah, you, you can cast that if you want. I'm uh, more interested in Percival Arog Filer. If that... Oh shit, they already started. Han Mono wants to get this done. I'm gonna get uh, Max Pax and Nickich. I think. Yeah, my dudes. Are you guys still in here, or what's going on? Stark. We got Mousy. Two. Uh, Mousy is somebody who's been in. He's German. <clears throat> He's a good dude. And we can all split up or whatever. Maybe I should ask for a lobby link. You don't have to. If you don't feel, if you feel like you just want to do it on your own, yeah, ask for a lobby link. We're getting Mousy in here. I fuck. I gotta update Coke. Uh, this is gonna be hard. Cause I'm old. We got Skylar. Uh, <clears throat> All 
All right, guys. What up? Hey, Skylar is in uh, Twitch too. King Starker. Yo. Yours is King Stark underscore TV? Yeah. Okay. I'm getting Yuri's. Yuris the uh, SC2. Yeah. We may have Skylar too, so we can always just get. Yeah, you could cast with Skylar maybe. I don't know. Yeah, Skylar just uh, got the Discord link. Nice. Yeah, Skylar should have the right. I'm going to make sure. This is going to be crazy. So everybody can do it. We can, we, we can bounce between these channels too, you know what I'm saying? And maybe we can just have yeah, a, yeah. Shit, a shit show of finals. It's been a long time since we've done that, you know? Yeah. You, I'm just waiting for a lobby. I'm just not drunk oh, this there's time. There's that's the only difference, Yuri. <laughs> Nothing wrong. <laughs> right? I'm like Riser. That's PvP, I think. Mm-hmm. Sound like Riser? I wanted to, I was hoping to get max packs. Alright, yeah, as long as we cover stuff, we got enough people. Bounce I think we should just solo cast it for now even. We could get, we got the first round, we can get four people covering different sides, it'd be sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, I got you. All right. Uh, well, no. They already went in. What up, Skylar? Okay, now I gotta add Skylar, too, to this. We yeah, got, we're gonna... We're gonna delay. I'm, yo, Yuri, Skylar, you wanna cast at first? But uh, I can cast with Stark. Mousy's coming in. We got, like, a whole fucking house. How you doing, Skylar? Yeah, Skylar, get online. Join channel, Dave Testa. Okay. Dude, I played two games on the new maps, and it's... It's tank OP. <laughs> Just go tank. It's good, it's good. Can you hold For up? us literally get... walling off. Who wants to get bio ace? There's slip jip versus Christianer. I'm gonna get slip jip versus Christianer actually. Alright, so wait, are we are we separating or is are we in together? Um do whatever you want. Like uh we do you wanna cast with me, Stark? You're, yeah, Skylar, okay. we'll catch back up. You know we will. At the end we all gotta get together and make a fucking clusterfuck like normal. Now that we got Skylar oh, yeah. here. Do whatever, man. You know. Okay, Skylar. <laughs> Let's join it. Let's join a different. Mousy. Right. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to tell them, wait. One sec. Getting Mousy. I guess we're going to get Mousy in too, because I invited him and Skylar came in after because he just got out of work. Mousy, what up, dude? You're muted. Yeah, I didn't want to disturb. What up? So we're probably going to split up even... Uh... Uh, split up a, a bit even on solo because we have so many people now because it was like kind of last minute but thanks for coming how you doing Mousy? I'm fine thank you how are you good uh, so this is a bit of a shit show but we're in channel Dave test on NA and it is uh, we're in slip tip versus Christian or if you hop in there I'll get you the lobby link okay so uh, I was hoping to get max packs versus Nich Nickich but what slip chips my boy <laughs> so is Christianer. Okay, so simply Dave Testa. That's the channel where we're in. We're in. Oh, there we go. Yeah. And it's not to All cut right. you guys out. It's just this is a shit show. It was a random idea. It's Dave Test to check. Okay, I see you, Mousy. And I'm going to go invite yeah. the game. And just look uh, for lobby links after. Oh, Max Packs wanted us to go to it. Unless you want to cover Max Packs on your own, Mousy, you can okay. just bounce to a channel. 
Okay, so do we just uh, record these or how do we do it? Should I just record them and then send you over? What's the plan if we split up? Um, we can, you can come in with us. Why don't we do it with the three of us this one? Fuck it. Yeah, All sure. Right. Honestly, I, I could use two co-casters because I've been casting CSO Contender alone. I'm a tiny bit exhausted, not gonna lie. <laughs> I was just playing some CSGO not too long ago, too. No, I mean not CSGO, CSO. Oh, uh, that's okay. What, still StarCraft, you know? Gotcha. No, it's, it's, CSGO would be like overkill for me. <laughs> 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 not that I don't like it. No, I even play it, so... I yeah, like shooters. I grew up on shooters. Yeah, same. It's a fun, uh, it's a fun distraction oh. from StarCraft. Oh, he's here. He's That's here. Perfect. Shit, sorry guys. I'm also doing admin work here too. No, you're good. So I'm gonna have to message Max Packs. We got ourselves a game here, and let's set this up. But that said, oh, I forgot to remove my camera. But let me message Max Packs. I got a message, Nick Hitch. Okay, whose uh, camera are we going to go? Who's, who's uh, going you to You can observe? do whatever if you want. Uh, if you guys don't mind, I'll do the honors of the first one, because, uh, and this go around. Spawning in yeah, the bottom left-hand corner of Data C. Give it up for our Red Terran player. It is Slip Chip from Team Super. And either of you guys, who wants it, who wants it? All right, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Okay, spawning in. Well, I call this uh, the two o'clock position, so I'm just going to call it that. Well, basically, we can go with the top right corner of Data C. We have the pink Protoss. It's Blazer's Christianer. Uh, <laughs> Dave, you don't let me watch you because your girl watch me because I'm too handsome of a man. Um... I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> I had to read that one out in chat. Welcome, Raccoon. Chris Bim. You just heard of the game. Nice. Anyway, sorry, guys. I'm going to get rid of my camera here. And thank you, Raccoon. Uh, with me is Mousy, CSO underscore Mousy, M A U Z Y, and uh, King Stark underscore TB. It looks like we got ourselves a standard game, boys. Yeah, for the most part, I did notice that Slip opened up with a gas first. So I would be expecting to see probably a Raven opener. Yeah, that would be interesting. Well, with Slip, who knows? You know, like, we got our boy McJippery here. <laughs> yeah, pretty much standard on the side of uh, Christianer, so. Well, we have to see what the first tech building is going to be. On the side of the Protoss, that's pretty much going to dictate some of the... I'm guessing he's um, going for uh, Stargate. He's not rushing his Warp Gate. So we're more than likely going to see a Stargate opener out of Christianity here. Yeah, yeah, especially if he opens with a second Adept. That's just going to allow the extra gas to be yep. used. Oh, oh. No, it's a Twilight. Wow. Interesting. Okay, so I suppose Quick Blink. Well, Quick Blink is actually a really decent idea. Um... If you really want to deal with uh, drops and whatnot. Yeah, that'll be really, it'll come in handy when it comes to potential Whittlemine drops or Hellion drops. Yeah, I think Slip is going for... Slip, uh, hit, <clears throat> hit Grandmaster and just drop down. So he's about 4.8k, so he's punching above his weight, but he's had to play Christiana a few times in these tournaments. I had to play Christiana once, it did not go well. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, he is a strong Protoss player, that is for sure. Very. <laughs> yeah, and so looks... we are seeing the Little Mines as well. Yeah, he's not even going into Hellions at all. It's right to Mines, and, well. Who is going to take out that, that CV? That's really nice. And potentially taking out this Marine as well. Oh, opts for the Mule. That is a bigger oh, surprise. Shit. Yeah, getting the Mule was huge. Holy heck and That heck. was a fresh one. That was a fresh one. Gets the Adept out. Ooh, doesn't get the Adept out, I believe. Yep. Damn. Doesn't manage to get it out. And now we can kite back with the Stalker. 
You know what that's like, guys? Killing that mule with an adept? To me? Alright, just hear me out. I don't know about you guys, but when I wake up in the morning, I need my first cup of coffee. That's like Slipchip just got his cup of coffee, just poured it, and Christiana came in and just smacked the fucking cup right out of his hands, right there. And oh, that's the end sure. of it. That was that mule. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Look at this base macro out of uh, Christianer. He's like, yo, I got like three stalkers. No fucks given. We got a, we got a Widow Mind drop, so we're okay, boys. I, I don't know if you guys uh, mm -hmm. if you guys are familiar with uh, WWE. There was like a clip of an old school guy, CM Punk, when John Cena just came in and was assaulting someone else, I believe, and just smashed the desk with them and whatnot. And that guy was like, John! You spilled my diet soda. <laughs> uh, basically, that's what my, that mule uh, reminded me of. Yeah, that's funny. That is a good uh, analogy. And looks like this widow mine drop is gonna be. This is weird from both of them. Like I don't know why he sent every stalker like clumped up and then didn't. Like obviously Slip's gonna move it, but it, it looks like a pretty dead drop. Ooh. Oh, they don't oh. reach. Oh, that, that's like barely a single unit. That that's is perfectly be, placed. That's got to be one out of range for most stalkers. Yeah, it's one X in either direction. That's fucking... <laughs> but that is one dead medevac if it just moves in any direction. Oh, my God. Because even if it goes down, then there's one hex over for the stalkers to reach in that little uh, embankment there. Yeah, and look at look at those. Uh, look at what's down there. <laughs> yeah. So we got a little push out with three stalkers. This guy, what's going on with that observer? And slip, Christiano is going to catch the push, but stem and uh, combat shields with plus one are a ways away. <clears throat> he does catch the widow mine though, which is really nice. It'll help uh, deviate some of that splash damage against these blink stalkers. Nice to blinking away. And we have the double forge going on, so plus one attack and armor is research on the side of Christiana at the same time. Yeah, and it's gonna kinda it's only a single eBay. It's... Yeah, it's a one eBay build. He's going for it and he's gonna go into concussive. He's probably gonna get infantry armor and then go into ghost. Uh, a lot, most of the time I see a lot of players even, you know, and the pro leagues. Uh, when they do this, they'll forget to get drop another eBay, or they'll have desynchronized upgrades uh, for the quicker ghost and EMP. Yeah, Christianer does lose the immortal. It was just barely out of the battery overcharge range. Oh, and unpowers these. Oh, okay, manages to unpower everything over there. Oof. Overall, that was a really good engagement, though, from Chris Yonner. Despite only losing the one Immortal, he still kept all of his stalkers alive. Well, really. That was a beautiful blink by Chris Yonner over there. He even gets the Widow Mine. Yeah, either really the trades are way in favor of Chris Yonner. Uh, Slip's trying to put a good fight, but again, it's Chris Yonner. And I don't know about this decision of Slip to push right now. He's just... I don't think he needs to. I think he needs to just stay back, maybe try to get a drop in or something, but... That's about as good as he's going to get. You really don't want to, in my opinion, you don't want to push out against this because Protoss just traded way more efficiently and, yeah, he's going to have upgrades now. Dave, Dave, what drop? What drop? The only medevac that's capable to drop right now is stuck in the corner. No, I'm saying with this push, <laughs> ra rather than doing the push, he could just keep macroing up, pumping out units. Oh, there we go. And then I'm just saying, like, okay, I'll take this. This is a good drop. Th there you go. Oh, man, that's an artosis pylon. That's an artosis pylon. No, oh, he's wow, going right yes, for the forge. No, that's, oh, that's this. brilliant. Yeah, Slip just set, reset the upgrades. That's huge. That's big game huge right there. I'm a little surprised he didn't stay around longer to snipe the Templar Archives. That's a big tech building for Protoss. Yeah, actually, Slip can go back in if he if he's wants to. He has to defend this push. But, like, Slip has got him on his back foot. He can go back in. There's a, only a couple of Zealots and an Immortal. And he's got most of two medevacs. He lost one Marauder. He could, sh yeah, he could kill that pylon. Yeah, he could, he could kill that pylon. Yeah, absolutely. He's in a deep power. Uh, I think it's too late now. Oh, if he got, yeah, he should have been target flaring that because hell, he could have. If he started the damage, he could have killed that whole warping, which would have been 
super high value. Man, One of the things I would really like to see from uh, from Slip would be the continuous production of these Widow Mines, because he's going really heavy into charge lots now with the Immortals. The Widow Mines would do great against those charge lots. Yeah. For sure. You know how I mentioned that coffee thing, guys? I went, I went out, I didn't have enough time. Decisions had to be made because of how close it was to the tournament. So I decided on cigarettes and Taco Bell. But I'm all out of <laughs> coffee. So I guess I I, I have a poor Wrong substitute. Decision, Dave. Yeah, I have a poor substitute of Baja Blast. Uh, Slip needs to get out of there. Ooh, dropping on the yeah, he's dropping the on semi high ground. Nah, it's a smart move, but this is a lot of Protoss. Christy Otter has like a 40 army supply with well. <laughs> and no, this is this is devastating. Yeah, those that blue of thorns. It is looking like Christian is taking game one. But yeah. it's still a slip chip. Uh, you know, was it wasn't because he lost the mind drop. Again, the the drop was good, but he really could have just been sitting back, macroing, and went on with those two on their own. That ended up being all right, but he really just should have been focusing on his macro after that, I think, and then dealt with it because that's the kind of Protoss you don't want to just push into. You know what I mean? For sure, yeah. I guess that style of Protoss, once they only have about 10 stalkers, you really gotta just out multitask them and drop on them everywhere to really pick them apart. Yeah. And yeah, uh, super clean game by uh, by Christiana. I really like that. Ooh, inside and out. That's uh, what do you think about that map? Um. Well, to be honest. With all the maps, I'm kind of having fun. Uh, I think it inside now it is it is it's got some good tank positions, but uh, of all the maps, I don't know. I think it's a cool map. It's well designed, and right now, I even though I've been casting on these maps for over I don't know a couple months now, about it feels like a couple months now since yeah. I've been laddering on them. I now forget the names of all the maps, even though I've been like fine before. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> I just came to that there, conclusion yesterday. Go, go ahead and start. Oh, no, yeah. I was just going to say that there are a lot of positions on this map to get some nasty concaves. This is the one map that I was hitting yesterday where I was just getting concave left and right. All right, Stark, you want to do the honors? Yeah, starting in the top right-hand corner, we have Slip. And hey, Mr. Mousy. And in the bottom left, facing him, currently up 1-0, is Pink Protoss, it's Blazes Christiana. Yes, our pink Polish Protoss, and our red McJippery. You know what, Slip really could... <clears throat> He's a kid, he doesn't take things super seriously, but honestly, I think he's been practicing a lot. I think we're going to see him push up, but he's only 15 years old, Mr. Ooh. Slip Jip, yeah. So There's a couple of uh, young talent right now, so it's it's nice to see, honestly. Yeah, it, it's it, always nice to see young talent uh, playing. But yeah, an NA 15 year old who hit Grandmaster, that's not too, not too chabby. You know what I'm saying? We don't have. Yeah. <laughs> There's not players. a lot of them. That's for sure. Yeah, that's that's uh, well. Some people say that oh, you reached uh, GM on NA and. That's like nothing reached on EU, but that's not true in my opinion. Yeah. Wh wherever you, whenever you reach GM, that's like an achievement of pretty much a lifetime, I guess, for some people and for some, uh, for some others, it's like a necessity, I believe. Yeah, exactly. It depends how you look at it, but I, I don't know. Reaching GM is is an accomplishment uh, for sure, no matter how you look at it. Absolutely. Like for, right. let, let's be honest, for me, when I reached Diamond 3, because imagine I'm playing since 2020 on and off. and Oh shit, I gotta go to teamliquid.net. Sorry guys. Today's rough. Fine. Wait, there's a Psy Storm, another Psy Storm event's going on? I didn't know. Oh, FSL. Huh. Alright. 
imagine doing all the work for this before and then the last minute like kind of uh what i'm forgetting everything so thank you guys like i could have reached out to you. i didn't know what was gonna happen and uh i don't know now yeah, weekends are fine dave any anytime yeah. if you need a caster i'm usually free so yeah same for me on the weekends or after 4 30 eastern time i'm good yeah all right we got in depth again twilight again i think we're gonna see another blink opener from christianer and another 111 from slip Jip. yeah you know i really would like to see slip open with a raven this time no it wouldn't be bad at all to see like even like for it would be crazy to go and harass with it but at least uh i could just deny some kind of vision if uh christianer decides to get like an early observer yeah, and then it mean, could do like whatever he wants pretty much yeah it'll shut down a warp prism too as well yeah that's also true all right yeah we got some uh it's looking yeah, basically the same three gate blink and do an expand from christianer he's got double adepts you know he might get that raven because we got a Cyclone uh, opener first, but three Adepts, interesting. There's a Medivac, so is this going to go into, like, mines? I wonder. And it's kind of smart not to show the Cyclone, yeah. so... Yeah, this is a, it's a tough call. It's really hard to... S oh, he could be going for a tank drop. Yeah, I think he's. It's either that or he's going for a marine tank uh, push with a liberator follow up potentially. And he might even bring some SCVs, build yep. a couple bunkers around his marines. Mm hmm. Yeah, I that think... could be nasty against a blink stalker opener. So losing those, uh, losing those marines was definitely rough for Slip Chip right there. I think he really was hoping to have everything he could. Yeah, he's getting three, just three. Okay, there it is. He loads the tank. He's opening with a Viking, though, out of his starport. I really would have liked to see that Liberator. Oh, no, he's going to lose. The oh, the Cyclone's lost. Oh, that's big. That's big, actually. Oh, and now uh, unloads the tank. So Cristiano knows exactly what this should be. So question is, does he have enough time to, to actually do anything about it? And doesn't opt to go for a pylon, so his supply block cannot really warp in any units unless he loses some. Yeah. What the Vic Viking? Question mark. Ooh, that's a nice, nice snipe on it. And <laughs> poor slip. Quick, quick second <laughs> game out of uh, Christiano makes quick work of uh, slip chip. All right. We might have to wait a bit. Uh, actually, so a lot of these guys might be on EU too, because uh, we gotta let EU players. Well, oh. Max, Bax, and uh, Nickich, Art, and Fiant. I'm sure they're on EU. Bioice and Gref are on NA. And in game, we missed the lobby. Uh, Stark, are you streaming as well? I am. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Let, let me get, get you. CSO now Z. Uh, I'm not live right now, so oh, no okay. need to. Oh, you're not? Okay, here we can. It's up to you, you know, whatever you want to do. I want to make sure your name's in there, at least in co caster's command, but well, we got a moment. I'm going to just list everybody because Yuri and Skylar are casting on another side there. And yeah, we could just try to catch. I mean, I could just go live, to be honest. Why not? Yeah. Just make sure there's a two minute delay. I'll do that. And I was going to change it. Three adept with no Stargate. I don't even know how th this game anymore. Slip Chip said. <laughs> I'll be honest. I was excited. Christianer's a big Stargate opener kind of guy. So. All right. Just need to change back my stream key. Cause... Uris the... Just SC2. Uris... Oh, motherfucker. Okay, I still have the two minute delay. I'm just trying to make sure I get all this in. Yeah, all right. 
right, they're stuck. Uh, okay, so what, what's the title again? Uh, Dan, Dan and Dave. Uh, cash grab. Oh, I can. Yeah. I'll DM it to you if you want. It's fine, I got it. Okay. And then we got a Maturino codes, folks. Please help the players out. Use them codes. Imagine Bring Taren. that prize pool up. All you have to do is click claim uh, code. You, it's free. Can you, DM me, can you DM me the bracket, please? Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. You DM me the bracket. All right. It's name is King Stark. Okay. And... You know, I forgot to keep hitting up Star Killer. Star Killer is always fun to play in these. Lately, I've been. He's but he gets busy, so I forget to invite him. Um, it's not. It's an open, but you know. Uh, GM underscore Skyler. So it's looking like uh, Nickarat's opponent never showed. Oh, I'm gonna ask him if he uh, needs a walkover. And there's still a lot of people on game one, it seems like, too. Okay. Well, yeah, let's try to hop in any games if we can, if we see anybody. Oh, Biowice has just finished his game, it looks like. Let's go ahead and hop in uh, Biowice's. Oh, that sounds good. Oh. Skylar's, uh, I think Skylar and them are on it too. I was going to see if otherwise we can go on it. Oh, my wife's just finished. Okay, he. <laughs> yeah, we may have to. Gref. Would, uh, I mean, would you guys want to work together in one? I might go and take a separate side if we have happened to coincide with different lobbies. Yeah, Nicarac had a walkover on Bull Shark Alpha. That's what he was saying. Sure, yeah. I mean, Shell, I'm, Mech I'm and Riser going on. Huh? Yeah, that's fine. Mousy and I can do one. Yeah, I'm, I'm down to cast with uh, oh, Stark. Oh, wow. In case. As the seating went, Max, winner of Max Pax and Nickage fights Han Mono. Han Mono got a, into the second round, uh, the second round immediately. That's fucking hilarious. I didn't even see that before. So he's likely to fight Max Pax. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, Han Mono is one of my favorites. He's a che uh, cheesy uh, Korean semi-pro play. Actually, I'd say his, he's in the 6Ks in Korea. He's a really good player. All right, let me just grab this over here. Okay, I'm gonna go Eric Fire and Christianer. Guys, I'm gonna dip then and catch that one unless you guys want, unless somebody wants to come with me. Uh, I'm fine with that one. All right, I'm gonna get Eric Fire and Christianer. All right. All right, hey, you guys can or just stick around for bio ace and stuff, whatever you want to do. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Hey, we'll just, uh, we'll see who the next one is after that. Yeah. I'm sure Max Pax will probably be next with Han Mono. Yeah, I'm a bit of a hot mess today anyway, so maybe this will get me to get the cobwebs out of the brain here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, I was trying so, to do this okay. at a time that was the best we could, but like because of Home Story Cup, it was kind of rough anyway. So it's like, well, four o'clock my time it is. Yeah. Okay, so Stark, we stick together or go separate? How do you want it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can stick together. Okay, I'm gonna just hop into a separate channel. Alright, guys, I'll just catch up with you in a bit, I guess. Alright. All right. All right. Okay, cool. So, here we are. Uh, where the fuck's my Discord? Come on, Discord. Uh... Arrogant, Arrog player.
Eric Fire versus Christian are coming right up here. These guys with the predictions, no, dude. You guys are silly. Start prediction. up everybody how you doing clumpy eggnog envy parlig slip jip good well played man it was unlucky thank you temper for the raid by the way shout out to temper all right guys skylar and yuri are going on too and we have mousy Man, Eurystheus. All right. Welcome, everybody. Fries for Alarac, Raccoon, Chris, BM. Anybody new here, smash that follow button. Thanks again to Florence for the raid, just starting us out. And we had a bang, ah, uh, in chat. An ah. Uh, I'm going to do an ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I got to add the... I got to add the graphics to that stuff. So we should... The players are just vetoing if Eric Fire and Christiana. Well, Protoss versus Protoss here today. And I must ask you a question, chat. You excited? I'm, I'm still, you know what? We had to give uh, some players that aren't at home Story Cup some time to play. So, very good stuff. And yeah. Very good stuff. We have Mr. Mousy. Actually, you know, I'm going to put all these guys in. Zip Firefox. Because fuck Chrome sometimes. King Stark casting with Mousy. Eurystheus and GM Skyler are casting together. And you know what? I didn't do the coin flip for Europe. EU, uh, no. Coin flip. All right, here we go. We're going to do it right now. Whether heads is central, tails is west. And it is heads. Chat has now seen it. So it's Central, West Central. Right, chat, we're just waiting. <laughs> and Christian has decided to grace us with his presence. 
<laughs> Welcome, everybody. And guys, please use those Macherino codes. It adds 25 cents to the prize pool for free. All you have to do... Only one code's been used all you, when you go there. All you have to do is click login. And you can log in with any of these types of accounts. And you just click claim code and it adds 25 cents to the prize pool. Pikachu. What up? We're getting Baja blasted over here, but we got ourselves a little Protoss versus Protoss here. And while we're waiting for the game to load up, I got to do He's this He's got one. himself a good old yee-haw! Coming <laughs> right on in! Yeah, it may not be the Chicken Man test to open, but you know what? I, I got to add the logo on anyway, because it's still... It's basically the same thing. We just don't have Chicken Man right now, unfortunately. All right, here we are. Spawning in the upper left-hand corner of Cosmic Sapphire, as Florencio calls it, Cosmic Safari. He's our pink Polish Protoss from Blazer, Christianer. And his opponent in the lower right, representing Alpha X in the blue, gave it up for Eric Fire, our blue Protoss man. And let's see what clown fiesta we have today, folks, in this Protoss versus Protoss match. All right, looks to me like we just have a two gate. I'm guessing this is going to be a two gate opener, but we'll see. A little different setup from Air Egg Fire. Christian are kind of going for a more standard wall. This could be a one gate expand still, but we'll see. It's probably going to be Dose Gate. How do we donate to the prize pool? Uh, in Macherino. In Macherino. Ghost Love, I was literally just watching Scarlet vs. Eric Flair, and now he's on the stream. Yeah, how you doing, Ghost Love? Welcome, welcome. Returning Chatter, Ghost Love. We do have a two-gate from Eric Flair with his uh, little different wall, but uh, it, it's a pretty good anti-cannon rush one. But yeah, you just click Contribute in uh, Matcherino if you want to. There's already $100 in the kitty and $0.25, cents, but you just click Claim Code. That's the best way for free to add some money, but if you feel like adding a few dollar dues, the players appreciate it. It goes right to them. And if nothing else offsets some of the match Reno fees, they like to take some out, so for their services. Alrighty. Well, chat. So we get a stalker and sentry opener versus a stalker stalker on Christianer's side. Little proxy pylon from Eric Fire, just the metagame proxy pylon right now. As we see, there's no other probe going back to it. Christianer gonna be annoying trying to get the natural block. Uh no, he's looking for he was looking for a pylon, but this is just a metagame. Okay, stalker and sentry gonna look around for a probe. That's hilarious. Like I never think of that sometimes myself. Uh, but that said, Eric Fire is going to put a pile on on the low ground, trying to scout the units. Christianer is not going to take the bait. Is he going to let it finish? He's going to let it finish. I don't know how much I agree with that from Eric Fire. That's a little bit of wasted money. Christianer with a Stargate opener, like he usually likes to do, but no adepts this time. Uh, does he do an adept follow-up? That's the question. So this is going to be an Oracle uh, versus a Robo opener from er uh, Eric Fire. He's going 3 8 Robo in base. So he is kind of cheesing. But that said, 
Christianer is going for a robo. What the hell? Are we going to get into Phoenix? Uh, is this going to end up transitioning to Phoenix Immortals? Or is this going to be... No. 3 gate robo. Wow, this is weird. I believe that scouted the Oracle. Envy Parleg with the Apop Gremlin. Goblin, rather. Oh, my God. This is a weird one, folks. We got an Oracle coming out, a second Oracle come out. There's no shield battery. There's two Stalkers to defend, but they're kind of away from the mineral line. There's going to be a little push out from our blue Protoss player. That said, Christianer has another Oracle coming in, and his robotics facility just finished. Okay, he's going for an Immortal. He's defending. This is going to be uh, really rough. Oh, actually, the two Stalkers are going to help to defend against the oracle but we'll see what happens another oracle coming out so no significant uh worker deaths just yet we have 24 25 okay christian are still making workers behind this funnily enough uh army supply looking greatly in favor of eric fire but an immortal and a shield battery is gonna make this interesting to hold there's no sentries for christian or because he's invested into oracles oracles are gonna come back out Fight going up in the favor of our blue Protoss player for the moment, but this is held. Another Immortal on the way is going to make this extra difficult. There's three Stalkers to defend back home. Uh, another Oracle, well, both are going to join up and be defended, but that's going to take away from some of the uh, multitasking behind this from our blue Protoss player, who's taking an expand behind all this. Very good stuff. Gotta love it. All right, that being said, we do have another Immortal to hold the high ground, but 28. Christianer is insanely ahead on workers. Despite the expansion, the Oracle is going to be annoying catching three workers. Uh, yeah. Twilight Council going down for Eric Fire. Christianer is catching up on that army supply. And two adepts are going to come out to be a bit of a, a nuisance and maybe even just get some vision. Sentries with some awkward force fields. Oh, yeah, because, well, Christianer has sentries of his own. That said, there's a warp prism allowing him to push. Oh, nice force field in rebuttal from Eric Fire. Eric Fire actually almost kills the warp prism. Can he do it? He catches the warp prism. The army segmented off. He can't really fight these immortals, but he needs to evacuate somehow because, well, he's just got a lot of good trades. He has the base advantage. Christian or the worker lead or not, he's so oversaturated. It's actually uh, counter efficient to say the least. He is ultimately going to get a nexus of his own. But uh, that said, Eric Fire's lost workers here and there, so he's not even being behind on workers. He isn't really... I don't know. It's kind of a weird start to the game, to say the least. All right, here we are. Oh, man. This is some pretty wild stuff. Oracle, eh, not going to be able to find too much value. Probably there's two stalkers defending here. Uh, the rest going down below. Ooh, going to catch some of the reinforcing probes. Uh, the probes going down to the natural, and that stalker, or that Oracle, rather, is about dead. That being said, this worker lead still in high octane force for our pink Polish Protoss player, Christianer, while Blink is on the way for Mr. Eric fire it's about to complete actually and uh, this oracle is not going to be able to find any damage it gets a rev tag loses its shields and that's about it army supply looking in favor of christian or one shield batteries down however and blink should finish somewhere in here but he's going to need it pretty soon in just a couple seconds he's got 10 seconds and counting three two one blink and oh there's going to be no wall for this but that's so many damn adepts they're going to be able to just destroy these sentries. Would like to see some force fields. Oh, beautiful force fields. But the war prism number two has returned for our Blazer, uh, Blazer, uh, Protoss player. Jesus Christ. All right, behind this, we do have a Twilight, a twilight Council going down on the high ground for Christianer. Workers are now even. Game's normalizing. The tech is a little in favor of our blue Protoss player with the blink. But there's a lot of sentries for Christianery. Both players have to be a bit careful here. And yeah. 
Okay, the fight's trying to, you know, continue, but again, Eric Flair has to be careful. Does get a nice blink to evacuate the force fields. One of these sentries is full energy. The rest kind of drained out. Okay, we have a Dark Shrine going down for Christianer. He's like, the heck with it. I'm kind of behind in tech. I'm going to take a third base behind this because I've been leading in workers. Somehow, I think Christianer is just getting into a fantastic position because these three immortals and these sentries are just making this difficult. Even with all these Blink Stalkers, it's a pure Blink Stalker army. Uh, less than the one sentry for Eric Flair. But nice micro. He used the War Prism after the Blink, kind of getting his army out. And now he's going to go try to get some damage. Okay, he's splitting his Stalkers. I like this. I like this. Oh, wait, but the Adepts. Oh, nope. Forcing them ev everything back. He actually had a chance to pounce on this army, potentially target firing this uh, Immortals and Sentries which would be huge. We don't have any detection as of yet. Wait, do we? No, there's not a single probe, or observer rather, for our blue Protoss player. Christianer's third base, just about to finish War Prism, going down with the invisible men, but no observers is a bit of an error from Eric Fire. He just isn't thinking about the dank Templar. War Prism's not gonna activate them yet, but we're gonna see them soon. The debris field actually getting chiseled away at it is heard by the probe of Christianer. Hallucinated Phoenix gonna go catch the army, not find any information. Dark Templar going to the third base, maybe walking around to the natural. Oh my god, there's a probe pull. That's gonna be great pickings for our Protoss player. He recalls invisible men are scouted. An observer is gonna be desperately tr attempted to chrono out. But the other DT going into the natural. Oh my god, the clocks are ticking and the DTs are uh, chopping. Getting some work done on the gas geyser. I uh, would like to see another observer if he can. But that said, seven workers. Ah, uh, some workers on the other side of skirmish. Oh no, somebody's not A moving. He's worried. He's got to deal with the DTs. Okay, but he's more worried about the engagement, I guess. Mistakes were made on both sides a little bit, mostly on Eric players, honestly. That was unlucky. Dark Templar is ultimately going to be cleaned up eventually here. Third base. Well, actually, nope. Another one going slicing and dicing at probes. And, well, yeah, this is not looking good for Eric Flair. Christiana with an insane lead. Uh, yeah, this is looking very scary. That's four immortals with sentries and guardian shields versus unupgraded units. The DT going ham in the natural. And I just think this is it. We're going to see DD pretty soon. 40 workers have fallen. We're just seeing the time. It's like a timer. Each DT swipe is making the clock tick down. And the GD is called. Christianer takes game number one pretty decisively. That was, a, that was certainly a game. Very scrappy stuff. Oh, yeah. DT win, that is true. Made, Made, Mage, Mage T. I me Made, ER. That's what I'm just gonna say. Cause I'm bad at name sometimes in Twitch chat. How you doing, Fiat? Should have won 2 0 over R, but threw a game and lost the third. Aw. All right, here we're moving on to game number two. That is, so I'm sorry to hear that, but yay, at least you didn't go down in a 2 0, but you almost had a 2 0. Anyway, spawning in the upper right hand corner of Waterfall. Representing Blazer is our pink Polish Protoss again. Christianer in the pink, as I just said. And his opponent in the lower left, representing Alpha X, it is our blue Protoss player. It's Eric Fire. Two based. Good job, Fiat. Though I'm hope to see your replays. I'm always glad to see some. Fiat always tries his best, and it's always good to have you. And yo, somebody 
Oh my god, did somebody donate $20 about... We had a donation from Envy Parlay donating $20 toward the tournament, you legend. Prize pool up to a 121. Please use those Matcherito codes, uh, folks. We can bring it up to like, I don't know, 132.50 or something. That's very based as fuck. What a goddamn legend. Envy Parley. My man. Helping the players out. They didn't make go, weren't able to go to Home Story Cup or didn't want to in the, in the case of Max Packs. You know? And some of these guys, we got like Percival. We have Han Mono. We have players from all over the world today. From NA, from Latin America. In the case of BioWise. We have Fiant. We have our Polish Protoss players here. In this series. It's just going to be a two-gate expand with, or not necessarily expand, with a proxy. This could be a Robo or a Stargate. Usually it's Robo these days, but uh, this is a little bit smaller of a rush distance, to say the least. I believe there's one second difference between Beckett Industries and this map. Second pile I'm going to finish. Let's see what the tech choice is as Eric Fire has floating money. It's going to be a, a Robo. Okay, and then he's going to get a Stalker and... That's a really early robo, so that was basically tipping his hat to what the build is. It's one thing about PvP, it's pretty easy to read roughly what the proxy is. Christianer is going to wall off, and uh, this is going to be a trap probe here. Christianer is going to look for the proxy, so I think he's going to find this. Let's take a look at the pathing. Okay, probe right now is not going to do... Okay, is he going to go proxy too? Wouldn't it be funny if it was proxy robo versus proxy robo, and they're right next to each other. That would make things pretty hilarious. Okay, double stalker opening, as usually the case with three gate robo, but it's a proxy robo right now. A death coming over from Christianer, and it was not scouted. So there's nothing in uh, the place of the wall to stop this adept. The adept's gonna go in unscathed. Oh, is Eric Flair paying attention? He does pull some workers to deal with it with the stalker. First stalker finishes, second on the way. And he's going to pull some more probes to try to get some haul damage and try to mitigate some losses of probes. That said, two stalkers on the other side going to try to contest the space. Uh, they're going to... Oh, he has to be careful. He's taking a bad fight. That is three to two. I ain't a numbers guy, folks. But I'm pretty sure three is Kirktown. I've, I've seen people lose it, though. But we don't have an overextension from our pink Polish Protoss. All right, I like the fact that Eric Fire is pushing now. Warp Prism about to finish to join the Army Third Gateway on the way. So he's going to rely on the Warp Prism rather than the proxy as the distance is pretty far. Almost loses a Stalker, though. Forces two Force Fields that early, but the Shield Battery is going down, and that's where the clocks are ticking. He can go up to the top, though. It's something a lot of people forget. I wouldn't hate that. Okay, it looks like he might just do that if he splits this off. Yeah, he's going to go into the top. It's going to be scouted with the probe, but this is going to be a bit of a debate here. Robo versus Robo. One probe going down. Uh, he's going to try to chisel at some of this, then get some positional damage in the top. Oh, nice force field, but a recall cast. And a lot of the army's coming down, but look at this. Can he micro this immortal to the top of the ramp? He does. The force field working in his favor, but the high ground vision's out. And that is an immortal that has taken less of a beating. Would like to see some more prism micro in this. Another force field coming out. Seven stalkers falling and more Eric fire playing like a madman. Oh my God, nine probes went down. There are two bases though. Another immortal come into the fight for uh, Eric fire eventually. Oh no, there it is. He's, he has his third on the way. Uh, crazy game. So, so far that second base it's just kind of like an investment for the future, right? But Eric Fire had an army supply, has his third immortal slowly crawling across the map. The two adepts are going to get some more value. And you know what? Eric Fire is going to back up a little bit. He's going to use two immortals in a war prism to try to fight this. But he's overextending. He has to respect the stalkers a little because he doesn't want to lose anything. <laughs> GG. Eric Fire takes game number two. Holy shit, we are on to a game three series. These are some spicy ones. That was certainly something, chat. 
Definitely a little good game, Arino, right there. Sorry. A little thirsty here. Again, a little light on the coffee. Did I take my medicine today? That's my question. To a certain point, I don't mind. All right. We got ourselves another game. I don't think I did, but I don't want to double take blood pressure medicine. That's all I'm saying. That would be not good. You don't want the blood pressure to go too low. Because then the vampires don't eat well. All right. Don't ask me. I'm just crazy. Moving on to uh, game number three, spawning in the bottom left-hand corner of Inside and Out. Representing Blazer, it is our pink Protoss player, Christianer. And his opponent in the upper right from Alphax, give it up for our blue Protoss, Eric Fire. All right, folks, let's go. We got ourselves another PvP low ground from Eric Fire. This game, Christianer going for the high ground, probably just a double gate. Uh... Maybe Eric Fire's gonna change it up and go Stargate, or is he gonna be greedy and try to be the expander of this game? Interesting choice of map for this kind of play style. I'm sure our boy Max Pax has been uh, going along. Yep, yep, yep. Majesty like that. This is uh, some good games. I'm glad to see Eric player had to at least put down a map, but he's a really good player too. He brought the cheese on hard that game. What up, Richie Itchy? Welcome, welcome. We have been a two minute delay. You know, I don't have any logos here, so let me give me a second here. There we go. Ah, there we go. It feels a little more tournament-like now. Now, actually, you know what? I gotta do this, because why not? We added it in there for a bit. Nothing we can do better here today. A little rough day from Dave Reno, but we're all right. We got another proxy robo. Again, it's the meta. Rock, paper, scissors, build as Wootsicle calls it. And that it is. It's going to be Stargate versus Robo, though. Again, didn't pan out so well in game number one. Christiana going to look for the proxy. He's... Oh, my God. He doesn't find it just yet. Doesn't decide to go back there. He's like, you know what? No. He's still looking. He can't find it from the high ground, though. Okay. That's an interesting choice for a proxy, truthfully. Again, Eric Fire with a pile on there and this is looking like a little bit of a repeat of game number one stalker gonna look around for anything he's gonna find the probe probe is gonna deny the vision bada bing bada boom and that is blocked all right is there anything in terms of defense we should be seeing a battery go down by like three minutes 330 at the least but uh we are not gonna see one from our three gate robo or mr eric fire who's actually just okay just now drops his third gate again it's kind of the order he's doing it with the proxy robo variety found some good success in game number one but this is going to be a delayed nexus i think uh christiano is not going to be so quick to just take and expand this game after the last game in fact oracle is going to scout this push out he, he knows what's up now Ooh, look at the, listen to that burning debris field in the center. Okay, there's going to be a full wall here. Stalkers are going to stay home defensively from Eric Fire. It's just two Immortals and two Stalkers with a Warp Prism on the way. Four against two uh, Stalkers and a Shield Battery with two Pylons, which is actually pretty smart. Is he going to force Battery Overcharge? Oh. Ooh, but two Zealots warping in is going to be a bit of uh, trouble for 
our blue Protoss player, Oracle, is going to be defended against with these two Stalkers as long as they stay in position. And it's going to be an Immortal versus an Immortal. Again, this is looking a lot like game number one, folks. And that didn't go so well. But the two Zealots this time, I think, is an even smarter response right at first. The Zealots are so good against the Mortals. There's an Adept joining the army. Oh, nice micro from Eregfire as this battle goes on. All right, we're going to see some units try to poke up. There's an Immortal of Christianers. Ooh, one of the Zealots goes down. And his second Immortal on the way. Uh, no more for Eric Fire. Eric Fire is going for an expand. The two Oracles, one and takes about 50% haul damage, a little more actually. Uh, and he's just going to chisel away at the gateways. I think he's going to go and retreat. But Immortals are good units. That being said, I think this is just a containment for now. Robo is depowered, by the way. Forgot to mention that. I believe the Oracles did that beforehand. And the, guess what? There's nothing to defend these probes. These Stalkers are out of position. And, oh, only about well, three workers go down. Considering that's two Oracles, that's not too bad. Beautiful target firing. However, all that's going down down here is not much. Not that much. Little chiseling at shields. Gateways regaining some health. It's okay, two more gates going down for Christiana, who has more workers again than Eric Fire. Eric Fire's not making workers at all. He's getting blink, which is a little bit of a bold move. And two Immortals going down on the low ground. There's no Guardian Shield. Oh, he needs to get the hell out of there. And that he is going to. And I was wondering why I wasn't producing another Immortal. Well, it all had to do with the depowering of of the Robo. All right. Oracle is going to go find their way back in. Stalker's a little out of position again, but Warp Gate's done. And yeah. Blink is about 50% complete. But Christy Honor is just going to go push in. Uh, he's going to make it there before this battery comes. And guess what? Somebody is full walled in. So that's a lot of the production for our blue Protoss player who took a Nexus. Christy Honor is slowly getting there in the recovery there. The shield battery does finish. He chisels off a Zealot. But that's kind of inconsequential a bit. This is a weird, weird fight. And it's, not, in my opinion, it's not the greatest for Eric Fire. But realistically, it's... Oh, the Oracle's in the back, though. Talking about not the greatest. Oh, I'm a Mia. Six worker kills is pretty good, but he is going to lose one. And is he going to lose the other? Yes, that's both Oracles going down. That gave time for Christianer to get him out of position. Well, he puts his entire army up on the high ground. Literally all but two units. Oh, no, he's going to kill the gateway. And he, oh, there's no energy for a recall. He can use Blink. He, Blink has finished, but he needs to get this Immortal up in position. The clock's a tick, and it's a little late. The Guardian Shield's activated, keeping these units alive a little better than they already are. The tanky Immortals. The Immortal War looks like it's winning in favor of Christianer. So more, so much more units for our pink Protoss player. Does he just win it? This is a lot of pressure. Two Stalkers warp it in. Uh, there still is a war prism, but the force field is working against them. Christiana blinks, or sorry, Eric Fire blinks back to defend. Nine workers, oof. Christiana with a solid worker lead. He's just been macroing behind this. Another Oracle on the way is going to be absolutely devastating, and most of those probes are a lot of them, funnily enough, just trapped, uh, unable to mine, but funnily enough, again, the war prism is there to pick it up. A 10 workers fell during all that. So we're looking at a pretty big advantage for Christiana outside of the tech. He's just now getting his uh, Twilight Council, but he's getting another Immortal. So, yeah. Crazy game. And yeah, he, you know what? He's going to have to get rid of some production as much as he needs everything. He walled himself in, so one of these gateways is probably going to have to fall. Unless he just plays with Blink Stalkers. Oh, there's the Oracle again, and we don't have much to defend it. Oh, two oracles and the oh no, it's the adepts and the oracles. It's the Christiana signature move using the oracle pressure with adepts even now. Uh, yeah, this oracle. Okay, shield battery is going to be quite helpful here. But that is a lot of lost mining time. And the adepts are going to make their way back in again. It's just going to be the back and forth. There's just not a lot of units to really deal with this all at once. One of the adepts going to be cleaned up. Is going to shade into the natural. GG, well played. Good luck.
Like a sportsman, Eric Flair calls it, and Christianer advances. Let's take a look. All right. Let's go back to NA. Let's see what's going on in the bracket. Nicarak 2 0 Riser. So, winner of Art and Bioice goes on to fight Nicarak. Winner of Han Mono Max Packs goes on to fight Christianer. All right, guys, again, please use those match Reno codes. Just click claim code to help the players out. We're up to 121.25. Thanks again to Envy Parley G for the $20 donation. What a fucking legend. Goddamn legend you are. GG. I wonder if Han Mano has been able to take a map off the max packs. Missing some good games in uh, Home Story Cup, of course. Oh my God, they got white. They got fucking White Raw there. Holy shit, I'm missing that. I am missing White Raw. That's amazing. They have White Raw there in the cast. And Cloud. That is fucking crazy. Else do we got we gotta see here whoever advances the payouts go to the top four in this one it is not a top eight so being that there's less money it gives more of a decent prize pool but i'm sure we'll have more in the future 
I'm sure we'll have some cheeky couple hundred or more dollar tournaments. I'm hoping we can get some stuff together if life goes good and have a really big one. Again, at least a grand. And some good show matches for you. We want to get our man Rainer in here. I can't believe I'm missing White Raw. Oh my god, I have to unmute this tab. While we're waiting. Oh man. <laughs> All right, I'm just talking to the players to see what match we get. Looks like we... Hold on. <clears throat> Christiana versus Max Pax. So it looks like, hey, what up, Saint Savior? when we got mixed packs versus Christiana.
I'm going to EU for a max packs. All right. <laughs> Yo. What's up? What's up, my dudes? I'm like, all right, now we yo, we, we got to start shaking it up here. We got my boys here, my dudes. Yeah, we're chilling. My Terran compadres. Today we were, I was so disappointed. In Han Mono? <laughs> no, in all of all these games. Yeah, the we're cheese, watching these Terran games, and man, the cheese is not cheese. It's half cheese. It's half cheese. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not. It's not the NA variant of cheese that Skyler's it's, used to. It's, yeah, it's Korean. It's a two-inch. It's a two-inch freaking cheese, bro. Yeah. It's wait, like... wait, wait, Dave. Did you see the Hanmono win game? The no. game he won. I didn't. I'm glad oh, you guys. No. We were all. We didn't see it. Cheese, so we were bro. wondering, like, what? What was it? Was it some fine Parmesan? Like, what were you dealing with there? You know. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. We had some, uh, yeah, it's, uh, interesting. He took a map off Max Pack still. That's pretty based, you know? Yep. But, uh. Apparently it was game one, too, or something. Yeah, we had some upsets. Fiat took a map off somebody, too. Slipjip got mercilessly. Yeah, you guys would have been sad about old Slippy McJippy. He got, he got his booty spanked by Christianer. Yeah. Well, we saw a Percival Arog fire, and man, those games were. The first game, Percival had won the game games. completely, and then, like, he didn't make a bunker at his natural and lost to, like, six stalkers, and it was very sad. Oh. It was so sad. That is sad. It's late. I mean, for those guys, it's tough, too. It's late. Percival, uh, I think I twisted his arm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's like, I want to go to sleep gameplay. Yeah. <laughs> I may have done some simping last night when I was like, oh, Percival. I'm like, yo, you should play tomorrow because he's always in. And yeah. But I noticed they're on this. Yeah, around this time, he seems to be a little, uh, it's tough, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Europeans, these kids are fine right now, you know? I've seen them later. They're all DGNs, yeah. right? Well, it's like 5 a.m. in Korea, but it's only like, yeah. what, like 11, midnight? Yeah, it's yeah, 11.30 right now. I'm going to end my prediction. Based, Yuri, and Skylar, you left New World for us. Yep, I did. It's 11.32 p.m. Just finished work. I'm chilling. Wongi, hi. <laughs> Dude, I had to talk in the middle of this casting. Hey, nothing wrong with that. It's what you do. It's what oh, you yeah. do. I actually am thinking of that too, because I may, have, may or may not have goofed a little bit off my thing if not doing what Do I'm supposed to last night. We should. Did they go with... No, they didn't. Man, these vetoes be taking forever. Holy. They're falling asleep in the vetoes. Dude, they For real. need a random... Random freaking map generator. That's what they need. <laughs> Skyler thinks... They just need that. <laughs> that no tournament vetoes. should be played with random maps. I blame... Yep. I like... No I, gotta, I gotta tease Christianer. It's always Christianer's fault. Not for real, man. 
<laughs> so my new thing. He's always like the last one to sign up for match Reno's too. Like his, I don't know if he just gets he just gets busy or whatever. We all do, but like, I'll be like, people are like, yo, Dave, are you gonna pay us yet? I'm like, yeah, I'm still waiting on Christiana to fucking put, sign up, dude. <laughs> They're like, yo, it was like a month ago. I'm exaggerating a bit, but. Oh, please give us a lot. Okay, there we go. There we go. I don't see it. <laughs> you don't see it. Here. Yeah, don't. Wait, where's Skylar? Uh, oh, because you're not in the channel, Dave Testa. Yeah. I am. All, all lowercase? Yeah, I'm in here. Okay, you're, you're... I don't see you in there. Oh. Go to ESL. Are you on EU? Yeah. I'm in Dave Testa. Where are you on EU? No, NA. Yeah, we're on no, EU. No, go to EU. <laughs> what the? They're EU players. Wow. Can Christianer take it off Max Packs? Goodness, there he is, my man. Okay. It's been a minute, dudes. I. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Nothing like two Grandmaster Terran players and a Protoss player cast in a PvP. Yeah. Well, we got tired of waiting on the Byways Art series. For all we knew, they could have been just massing Sky Toss and. Camp in the whole map games, you know? They could be hour long games. Biowise is a macro macro player. Yeah, that's the thing about Biowise is he's not afraid to play super ultra late games, so you never know what you're gonna get. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I'm watching Home Story Cup while casting too. We got I feel Protoss. like everybody is. That's why these vetoes are taking so long. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not. I'm I'm disappointed because I can't hear White Ra is casting too. I'm like, fuck, White Ra. <laughs> Special yeah. tactics. I'm gonna say Christianer wins. All right, who wants to do the? I'll let you Two guys one. do the honors. Two one, Christianer, you think? Yeah. All right. Top right, playing for Team Zystorm, the blue Protoss. It is Max Pax. Bottom left, the pink Protoss for Team Blaze Blazer, Christianer. All right, guys. Looks like we got a low ground. It's max packs. Of course, there's going to be a low ground, and Christiana knows it. So I think we're going to see a one gate expand from max packs or one gate Stargate. And uh, Christiana, ooh. I think we might see some cheese here, boys. Really? Double gate, double gate coming. Yeah. Yeah, it could be. Uh, honestly, Eric Fire and Christiana was pretty close. Eric Fire. Did, it was a three games of three gate robos from Eric Fire. One was in base, <laughs> and the other two were proxy robo. Oh man, that is some proper PvP. Yeah, that is proper PvP. <laughs> but Great. proxy. I love how European players a lot of times forget Void Razor a thing unless there's unless it's like max packs now. Like I forget. Oh, uh, that. they both. <laughs> huh? They both have one gas, so they are just both expanding in. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Making a second gate. No, it's a proxy. Yeah, he's going for probably a four gate. Like, four gate. Sell it. Let's see it. Oh, there's no, a proxy pylon. Eight. Oh, damn. Yeah, it could just be two, yeah, a pressure build. But yeah, Christianer is being a little weird here. I think it's going to be. Oh, it's going to scout it. Oh, is Max Pax nope. going to scout this though? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he found Big it. brain. Big brain gamer over here. He is Max Pax always with the super fast Nexus? We have arguably the best PvP player in the world. Right here. I agree with Steadfast on that one. Who, Max Pax or Max, Max, Max Pax? Chris Honor is quite good. Uh, What's your guy's prediction? Uh, prediction. Uh... I think it's max packs two one. Yeah, two one more max packs, but Christianer could do it. Um, 
though he... Oh, wait, he's in, he's on my team. I should be rooting for him. <laughs> it's okay to root for the underdog. Hey, man, yeah, yeah. I, think I think Christianer is the underdog, and I think he can do something. I mean, wait, so this does not, nothing? They're pretty fair. even. They're pretty even. In what the, the heck? This did nothing. What? That's yeah. crazy. Uh, That's the, crazy. Yeah, the battery's the equalizer there, but now it's three stalkers. The two stalkers are done. Nah, no, it's gonna GG. be nothing. Wait, what? Yeah, GG. I guess he figures the difference at Nexus timing. Oh my. It will be enough to lose the game. Oh god, they're changing the, uh, hey, do you want followers bots? Yeah, <laughs> I know, they always, they always have a switch up on them. Bam, bitch! <laughs> Sorry. Wow. <laughs> what a great game, I must say. PvP at its finest right there. Yeah, that I was better a... see an all-in again. Yeah. But cannon rush. That was a little weird. I'm not gonna lie, like, I feel like that was something we'd see out of one, my, one of my games out of Christian or boys. That was pretty, uh... Honestly, Dave would have played better. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Honestly. I mean, maybe, but... I think Dave could have survived over three minutes. Yeah. Okay, fact, I would I would say that, yes. Now, that is true, yes. <laughs> I appreciate that. I think I could have in that game, for sure. I would have been going for 3A Robo. Because Proxy Void Ray sucks now. I did make it work two times. Uh, Dave, I bet you could survive... I bet you could survive over 10 minutes for Smax Packs with all that proxy nexus that you can do. Yep. <laughs> Just gotta base trade and crazy. proxy nexus. Oh man, fucking replay stats, I have that on. Well, at least I have all the... You know what, this lets me collect the replays easier. If I really feel like it. I, I've, I may or may not have made mistakes in ESL where it's been on, and I forgot after a ladder session. <laughs> Yo, did you guys see the graph oh, yeah. for that game? You could just see the... Wait, 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 Ready? wait. We're missing a caster, wait. Sorry, we need you in here, Skylar. We are missing people. I'm in here. No, I'm not. Oh, join. Invite me too? Yeah. Thank you. Wait, what's Christian's MMR? Wait, what? He's 6'3". Yeah, he's 6'3". Max is like he's, what? What's Max is right now? 6'9"? Six, six, I don't know. He doesn't, like he, I don't think he usually ladders that much. Max packs. We're gonna take a look after this. But 6'3 is still not bad. Yeah, he's he's a pretty good player. He's been up to 6'5". I think he usually in the two. You know, this time I've I, seen I've seen Christiana top sixteen yeah. all the time. Anyway, in the bottom left corner of Inside and Out, sporting the blue pieces, let's give it up for Size Storm Gaming's and Max Packs in the blue. And you know, you guys the pink. yeah. Top right hand corner, playing for Team Blazer. It is the blue pro, the pink Protoss Christiana. Yeah. Or as Chicken Man usually says, the pink Polish Protoss. <laughs> the oh, he always is, plays with pink colors? Yeah, it's, it's usually the Polish players will uh, contest it. It'll be Art and Christiana. Uh, a bunch of them actually <laughs> go for pink. It's funny. But it gets a nice little... Uh... <clears throat> huh. I've had to do uh, little memes on that. Actually, that's not a wall, Double by the guess. way, guys. Did you see that probe going around Christianer's uh, gateway? He didn't wall off properly, I don't think. I think he misplaced that's this. That's a yikes. Yep, that is a I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yep. You probably thought that tile doodad thing was actually like a blocker, but it isn't. Yep. A max pack should open with it, even in a depth early. No, so he's making cyber there. Oh, but he hardwalled the other side, so I guess yeah. he maybe that was on purpose. Yeah, yeah. Know. It's just kind of a narrow choke, though. Yeah, he's gonna still wall, but it's only it's one. It's the half. farthest distance for our, the enemy scout to come. And Archon ain't getting out of there, but I don't think we're gonna get to Archons this game. 
We'll see. This is interesting, because it's a ramp map, yeah? And they both went two gas? I guess mm. it's a really short map, that's why. Yeah. Yeah, you're usually going to see two gas openers. Uh, First scanner went but... faster, second gas. Yeah. Okay, Max Pack's going for the Stargate before the Nexus. And he's still going to get a fast as fuck Nexus for the matchup. Stargate. Void Ray defense. Oh, yep, Cristiano is doing some like Zest style stuff. I remember I saw, saw Zest do a lot of this double stalker. Yep, that's double a gate stuff. It's like the Zest, the standard PvP opener is really the, Z the Zest opener. And with yeah. a double stalker foul or double adept foul up, that's very Cristiano right there. I, yeah, I was gonna like say, it. I wouldn't see Zest do that. He'd no. make two more stalkers and just go for it. But. Yeah. Yeah, you'll either have the double stalker followed with two stalkers, or it's gonna be uh, double sentry otherwise. But that's more like the. Uh... Oh, look at this. It's gonna be annoying. The adept almost dies, but gets out. Oracle. Okay. Make and... a void ray. What are you doing? Oh, oh it gets in. Wow, that's huge. So he sees the twilight. That's one damage to death, but is it gonna get. Wait, what's Christiana doing? He's gonna allow a work. Oh, never mind. You yeah. think he did that on purpose? No way, right? No, he, yeah, because he allowed him to scout. Like, all he had to do was do one shade, and that adept wouldn't have been able to shade okay. in. He, I'd, we're gonna get we're gonna get some Princeton University here. <laughs> Princeton <laughs> University. <laughs> yeah, we got a little. Make a void there. raid, dude. Yeah, I'm telling you, oh, everybody, man. even Mac, if Max Pax forgets, he's literally one of the few Protosses that, uh, at this level and from Europe that I'll see that doesn't forget about Void Rays, though. Like, there's so many people, like myself even forgets uh, about Void Rays nowadays. Which okay. is funny. Oh, oh baby, wow, baby. that sucker goes down because it's away from it's the good. battery. The battery has no energy. This Kill the easy, pylon. Right? Kill the pylon. Easy win. Yeah, easy win, yes. Yeah. Oh, overcharge! It's it's Mountain Dew Baja Blast, boys. Oh, never mind. We forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. okay. The, the skill battery All good. wins. Max Max wins again via skill battery. <laughs> Would have thought. <laughs> oh, I forgot to update the score. Speaking of which, because now he can make, get his way to out. He needs to make 30 DTs right now. Yeah, and the Oracle. Oh, Christiana on the Oracle defense though, but Max Pax with that natural, he's. Yeah, he barely Classic held. Four gate. He actually yeah. did a four gate. Yep. <laughs> but Somebody's we got to remind Christianer it's not 2010 anymore. All good though. Well, Max Pack's going with the Void Ray Immortal. Why would he not proxy the fourth gate? And he got five. Why? Coach. Why did he not do that? Even I. I even know. I do that. Yeah. I this, don't know. This is the only build I do as Protoss. Like <laughs> I said, I think and he I thinks it's it. 2010. And Dude, I can literally do this seconds. better than him. Yeah. You can make a proxy fourth gate for gate. Yeah. I mean you gotta you gotta do the gate. I mean even though batteries kinda suck more now away from a Nexus, they still help. And uh even This if... is so late. This is so late. Yeah, I was GG. GG. So late. Power right. underwhelming. No, I'm just kidding. That was rough. It was a little unfortunate. Let's I think go back to America. Yeah, let's go back. I'm going oh, back geez. to America. What the frick was? <laughs> Scott is just like, why did I watch that series? I think Christiano just was like, I was, he wasn't feeling it. He's like, Max Pax is too strong. I'm going to try to be extra. Man, cartoon. he probably Nick got Rex nervous. is still just chilling. I wonder what the art bios madness is happening. <laughs> yeah. are, are they still going? Apparently, dude, PVZ is good, and Bioice has oh, actually been God. playing a lot better. Art obviously is a monster too. In, in Bro, everyone's better. waiting on this series. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be a solid. I just realized this is the long channel. Santa Claus is saying, "I wonder what he's going for." ESL. That's funny. Uh, let's see what we got here. So, yeah, Max Packs, then Christian already updated it. Damn, Art versus Bioway is still going on, though. That's nuts. Oi, oi, oi. Max Packs didn't play a game. 
We should have got in on that series. Yeah, I was hoping somebody would have, but like, like they got in. Wait, Max Packs lost to a 4.8k player? Hey. Okay. Great news, Skyler. That must have been a million points. I'm definitely getting the replays for those because I think we're going to do a cast on. Those guys. Oh, that's right. You want me to send you the replays we casted? Yeah, I mean, the players are supposed to, but if you don't mind, that'd be cool too. It's up to you. Oh, oh boy. Okay. I got to figure out how to get this set up so I can put them in because I have a SEE light, which was like a $15 program, which seemed a little jank, but it's like probably the most useful thing for me because I can rename like replays like instantly, like groups of them. So if I do ESL, I have like everything in a whole fucking set renamed and shit. Yeah. Dude, we should have watched BioWise. <laughs> I don't know, PvZ just wasn't enticing for me at the time. I didn't even see a lobby look, though. Damn. Dude, PvZ is honestly so much better now. <laughs> like, you know, unbiasedly... Oh, they just finished. They did. <sighs> R is 5.7k. Oh. Oh. Oof. Ooh, Two one know. art. Ooh. Protoss, man. The hero build. Okay. To EU we go. Huzzah. Okay, now <laughs> we can just stay in EU because we have 100% chance of EU now. Life is good, Satan Savior. Guys, with me is. Yuri and Skylar. I'm just gonna do co casters because I typed that shit before. What the fuck? It didn't work. Smudge. Did I not save it? I literally. <laughs> Hold door. Dude, I'm still Skylar. I'm Barney for you. Isn't Gerald in Gerald in Home Story Cup? Yeah, but I think he got knocked out early. Poor Gerald. Gerald is like when he's when he's like really feeling confident he's like pro probably one of the strongest protoss players but i think he lets has a hard time losing and then he just Dude. mentally gets defeated gerald is literally eu disc that's what he is yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> they're literally the same people uh, i actually got Ger <laughs> i got, actually got gerald in in voice for an interview how about that the other day nice. he won because he, he won and he was actually really happy Dave the simp lord the simp the lord simp, the uh, lord simp the simp lord <laughs> instead <laughs> of the sith lord yeah yeah you know the youtube skylar you've seen that shit right hell yeah watched <laughs> it like three times already yep i can't believe green ultralis made uh -huh. that yeah fuck a bitch goofy <laughs> that's like nice. that's like a lot to do for just memeing a friend, you know what I mean? He spent like a hundred between both videos. He probably spent like 120 hours on that shit. Weird. So it is Nicarac versus Art. Art versus Nicarac. Oh, we got a lobby link, guys. Uh, uh Nicarac. Oh, dude, Nicarac is the guy that I that I one tapped on my clips, and he got pissed, bro. <laughs> now he's in side storm. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, he's been in shit. We're missing you. We're Damn, missing that's a crazy. Caster. We're missing Mousy. Yeah, I stole so many points from this guy on you. We're missing uh, Mousy. So are we leaving? 
I, uh, I don't think they saw it. Wait, you didn't get in? No, no. another caster didn't get in. Yeah, shit, Mousy. Uh, King Star could share a screen. I don't. These guys may not know how to do that, but I don't know. Anyway, learning moment. Learning moment. Who, who wants it? I'll take it. Okay. Bottom right hand corner, playing for Platinum Heroes. The pink. Is he Polish? Yeah. Polish Protoss. It is Art. In, in Sky. Okay, fine. Scholar's not doing it. In the upper left. There you go. It is our blue Terran player. And Skylar's like Pog. He's on Psystorm Gaming. Get it up for Nickerack. Yeah, this is, uh, this is going to be a good one. Yeah. Here, I sent you something on Discord uh, after. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Nickerack's been pretty straight. He's won some of these tournaments. Uh, well, I'd say some of these tournaments. One's Dave, Chicken Man Test Opens. Uh, and against some pretty strong players. He, he's he's a pretty good Terran player, I'm not gonna lie. He's getting up there. Yep. I could be wrong. I think he's even won with, uh, it may have been a Zest tournament. He may have beaten Zest. Nice. Okay. I could be mistaken. Uh, isn't that crazy? Like you guys, you guys know it's been a long time. I've been doing tournaments for a bit, and it's funny to think that one of Zest's last tournaments he played in was was mine. He he literally just missed by a day. I could have been the last tournament he played in. Wouldn't that have been something? <laughs> oh, before yeah, you went to the military? You know, yeah, it was the Chicken Man Test Open. Was the day they announced uh, he was retired after that last ESL Asia? I think it was. Uh, the one the day he went to the military. Yo, a laser is about to beat Rainer. Oh, is is it? Yeah, Rain, Rainer's playing Protoss? Still? No, Zerg. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. Never no, mind. Rainer might win this. Great casting, Tyler. Uh, yeah. It's we're 2 0 like... right now for a laser, though. Yeah, this was a bad idea. <laughs> I didn't know how long. Like, Home Story Cup goes so long. So I'm you like. You can check. On Liquipedia, well, they have yeah, like I mean, estimate. Yeah, but I figured it. I figured today might be a little uh, less lengthy as the last two days. But man, was I wrong? I don't know. Oh my god, fast. dude, that goes in. Oh what? Oh, yeah, this is uh, crazy. Reaper. Wait, why didn't he go in with the depth? <laughs> he probably thought it was the bait. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh man. Nice mule save Fuck. though. Got a full scout, didn't he? Oh, he didn't even get a full scout. Okay, yeah, no, oh. he's actually throwing. You have to finish the scout if you don't see it, anything, and they let you in. That was yeah. gross. He would have got like five mules. Yeah, that did that. No, not even that. Just <laughs> knowing the Terran's tech is really, really important for Protoss. Yep. Well, he knows it's a one-one-one now. He's saw the Dude, alien. why would why would Terran why would Terran not take the pocket base and? Bait the adept to go in. Cause and the target's base is bad. Yeah. That's Not when you're all linning. And every turn so far has been all linning. <laughs> okay, Skyler. All right. Every turn. This guy knew it was gonna come up. Skyler with the two base all ends. Yeah. Honestly, you wanna know what this map's pretty good for? People disagree against tank. Uh, TV. Tank push, man. Tank push, but also against <laughs> Zerg. Two one one can be really good on this map because of that back base. Yeah. Like two one one, like drop. Just yeah. kill him uh, right now. Protoss went gateway Robo Twilight third base. That is pretty gangster build right there. Doesn't yeah, even yeah. care about gateways. Oh, it's a two gate. Never mind. Yeah, no, it's two gate. It's standard opener. He's just going. Uh, it's like usually he'd have three gate blank, but yeah, he's just. Uh, never mind. Yeah. Imagine a two one one standard. Right oh shit! That was so close to just catching it all, but he at least scouted it. And blinks. And down. I don't, I don't really like this build that Turns doing. But maybe he thought like it wouldn't be a blink opener because if it's a blink opener, you kind of just have to go home. Yeah. Like well, I mean, doing. he's going for the tank Raven follow up. He's got his first eBay going. This is a two eBay build, right? 
usually. Like, yeah, I've been seeing that no, it's a, a lot one lately. One usually it's only one eBay, but I've seen people like make two Wait, eBay and go like gas. 3CC and stuff. I like the two hey. eBay one better because I think there's been a lot of games where I've seen Terrans lose if they don't remember to get the. Uh, you know, it depends He's on. Doing what the a base all in. He's doing a two base all in. Uh, is okay. he? Yep. I don't know. I think he might make a third base. Yeah. He's all in. No, but the gases are really early. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, he can He's do gonna that. He's gonna pull the boys. He's gonna pull the boys when he gets up to. Well, yeah. Stim combat shields. Yeah, it is gonna be that. The stim combat. Well, if not, it's gonna be. I guess we'll see from there because if he goes to five racks, right, that's gonna be the all in. For sure. The reason yeah. why I know is because he's making. Oh marauders. no, he's making tanks. He's making tanks. Never mind. Yeah. He's Stim making marauder. Shit. He's gonna attack. Yeah. I don't think there's a third base. Well. <laughs> it's like gambling at this point. It's like he could just put down. No. He's an EU Terran. You gotta remember, EU Terrans love their third bases. Don't yeah. you dare make a third base. Like oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why it's just... gambling. Oh my. Well, make your medevax. Why is I mean, that? Oh, make... look at this. These group of Hellions and the Reaper are about to be dead. Now no, let's really be real here, though. Protoss is kind of ahead here because, like, they got the third base for free and, like, nothing really happened in the opener and he made three Hellions and did nothing with them. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, honestly, I like three CC builds. Like, if it was special, he would have done something cheeky and then still got a third CC, but that's special, you know? That's well, why yeah. you need a cyclone. Yeah. On Raven. this map, blink is really scary though, because like you can just blink like right in, onto the main base from the third base. Yeah, he doesn't want to lose that Raven though. That's pretty big, and I think he just tipped his hat that he's going 3 CC. Oh, the hell, he's getting some work. But there's already disruptor on guys. Yeah. Plus yeah, one charge so disruptor. On. I like the disruptor opener. Art is a Chad. Let me tell you, so many Protoss is going to Colossi, and I'm like, why? Like some time. canning strats. Yeah, like I. He's I trying actually, to hide the disruptors too. Like my that's, problem that's is, is I never get lucky again. What? He saw it. Why did he? Uh, I don't know. Why is he not attacking though? His super battery is active. You got him attack doing the super battery. Oh my oh, god. Oh, the Chad disruptor. Two marauders go down, but yeah. I don't know. Uh, I will never understand. Cheeto does pretty strong, that's all I'm gonna say. You do this on NA and the Protoss player has no tech and they just make mass zealots and win, but I guess you players play with like refined strategies. That is way too greedy for art. Uh, nah, I mean that's kinda like the style, I'll, that's where you'll see. I'm, I'm finally even adjusting to this and I think I'm starting to get more of an EU uh, thing. You for... usually go three gate robo third base, but he went two gate yeah. robo third base. But I guess it's a little extra. Yeah, it's he whatever. dropped his third gate before, but now. No, a lot of people do that. A lot yeah. of people. Well, he's going into plus two ground weapons, right? He's got Colossi coming. He doesn't have extended thermal lance, but he's got charge lots now, and he's got a he's decent amount of gateways. Trying to snipe that Raven. I mean, but no extended yeah, thermal. Yeah, no, he's got nothing. He was trying to go for the Raven. So his stalker it. wasn't there. Yep. Okay, he's gonna get his stalkers back together. Observer's gonna catch this, possibly. No. Look at the supply, though. Yeah, yeah. Terran's playing this like way too safe. Like they could just win at any moment here. I'd like to see a drop. I'd like to see. I know there's only two stalkers defending. Sure, there's uh, Colossi production, but I think it'd be worth it to try to get Almost. a drop in the main. And he's gonna do yeah, it. Doom drop wins. That's a classic strategy. What? Okay. Yep, he's gonna split wait, off. Just a double medevac trap, that's all he needs. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, he could find GG. some good balance, uh, value here. I don't know if it's just GG, but it's gonna be pretty. Yeah, killing the cyber core, that's huge. Yep. And, oh, doesn't get, oh, that get pylon. the pylon at least. Okay, so oh, he doesn't go deeper? Oh, that's a big yeah, rookie mistake. Oh, but the recall, he's gonna go for the skill battery and he's gonna. Oh my Whoa. god! <laughs> oh, disruptor. What disruptor! Oi, oi, oi. And Marauders are just too good against Colossi, that's just it. Oi, oi, oi. Sniper was good behind. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Terran broken race, confirmed. <laughs> oh man.
That's the problem with Stalker Disruptor. You don't have enough units. Not true. He had six Stalker, ah. one Disruptor. Oh, man. That is... Look at the graph. Looks like a penetration. Hey. Click the link. <laughs> Click the link. Artist part about casting. Yeah. Clicking the link. I'll be honest, it gets really, like... When you're in ESL, and you're getting to the end especially, that shit gets legit crazy for the links. Like, if the, thank God for Icegar, because I've been in sometimes. I, like, blink my eyes, and, like... It was like clamming, yeah, like it's whatever, gone. and it's just gone. And you're like, fuck. Yeah. You're just sitting there waiting with like. Yeah, the caster life is. And, it, and especially when I'm in there and I'm like, all right, we got like, all right, we finally got some people in. And then it's like, you missed the link. And I'm like, oh, I'll see you all in Steadfast, chat. <laughs> or Pig, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Nicaract looked good there. You did? All right. This is the first time I see I see proper Terran gameplay. Skyler, you do a player introduction. Yeah. Uh, Sidestorm, Black Terran, Nicaract. Yo, I just noticed on his command center skin, it's got 54. It's got the sale supply block right on there, guys. What? If you look at the CC, yeah, and his opponent in the upper right, upper left, it's uh, art from Platinum Heroes, but. Look at the, if you scroll around, there's a 54 on here. I'm gonna actually screenshot th this shit. No way. I gotta remember Wait, that I have that my clipboard. What does that mean? Well, there's the meme of- 54 uh, out of 54. Yeah, it's the up a tree Zelda supply block timing. <laughs> Where do you see that? You have to like scroll it over. Maybe it's my graphic settings? Cause I know- Skyler is clearly not cultured in the memes. That's all good though. Yeah. I know you're no, not- I'm weary. another memer. I'm a different memer. <laughs> Like, never. It's funny. I'm a doomer. Cell has gotten a lot of uh, donations, but people are. If you ever see the ones that are random names, it's me. Yuri, did you know that? <laughs> okay. No, sales I chat. Yeah, those names that are like Cell gets supply blocked or like streamer, you're. What? Streamer, you're know, bad. Streamer, you're bad or like, you know, Sal's mom. I don't know. I do like any of those random ones, so my name's never going to show up on top donation. <laughs> okay, I got it. Fun okay. fact. But Sal knows. I want to see Protoss do proxy Void Ray right now. Yeah, we're not going to see that though. They're Europeans. And proxy Void Ray, I don't know, it's just not as good anymore. Like, you need a Nexus. I'm yeah, pretty you actually Yeah, that's Nexus. why it's good. Because they, they don't do good. it. Yeah? They, no, you they, don't know what you mean. They proxy a Nexus across the map. Yeah, you, that's you know what, what they do now. You know what my new build is? Like, you got the max packs, right? But I do a gateway at home. And then I, I take my first pylon scout probe, right? I make him drop a pylon uh, after it, and then I send another probe to build a gateway. So you have a zealot, then you have an adept, and you have a stalker, and then another adept, and you just win the game a lot of times. <laughs> yeah, Chris. But it depends. It's, it's NA. In NA Diamond League games, let's face it, and there's no point for me even really trying to be serious anymore. Like, I've been tr working on, like, macro games, and I'm like, nah. Because everybody, nobody does anything that makes sense. And if I go DTs, they don't know how to mule, so they true. always have infinite scans. It's true. And <laughs> NA, NA players, they make the least amount of sense. Yo, why is that factory so far away? Is he trying to do a wood of mine Hellion drop? Yeah. He's trying to hide it, dude. Like, that's why I got mad respect for Skylar, Yuri. Skylar... But at least with you, we know you're gonna two base all in. You know, you're just two based. Yeah. Two based. <laughs> <laughs> two based, bro. All right. Get fucking two based. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't he just take his meal and go to the main again? I don't understand this. He could have been mining by now. Know. Do I need to make an emote two based? Two based, exactly. Every time someone dies to a two base. Yeah. It's another two gate robo, okay. I think you should. Is that what everyone does now? Dave, make me the emote. <laughs> Alright, I'll make you the emote. Two based. I actually have room. 
Hell yeah. I gotta like, re oh. I, I have so much shit I've said I was gonna do that I've not done in forever in my own shit. Yeah, only when you feel like it. I got a 47s emote coming though, because 47s is pretty good. And I was like, you know what, let's actually add a professional oh. emote to my, just one professional emote. <laughs> <laughs> yep, what a mind drop. To Raven. You know. Two of mine drop against two gate blink. The four oh five third base. Yo, so mirror build from last game for Protoss. Yeah. He wants. That's that. all they know how to do. Stop is blink stalker. Nah. Listen, it's fun. Okay. There's yeah. a reason why that's all they do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, they. I've seen Art do some others. Star usually is a blink guy, but he's, he does Stargate. I've seen him do uh, Phoenix Charge a lot. There's no pylon on the north side here, so the medevac goes in undetected, which is kind of big. Yeah. He should drop one widow mine and then let it walk in. Yeah. And he the, dropped uh, the uh, medevac's dead. Oh. Wait, wow. medevac got killed. No oh, damage. It. Oh, is it literally on the other no side damage? Of the map? Did he catch it on the other side of the map or? Two probes. Like Two on probes. Damn. Total. Yep. That's uh Perfect. that's a bad drop. Unlucky. I totally missed that because I was too busy staring at the useless uh, Reaper and Hellion. Oh, Raven get wrecked. Oh! Oh my god, yeah, if he gets his wrecked. Raven, that's huge. Getting wrecked, Where? getting wrecked. Oh! Whoa. My god. Oh! That was a beautiful save, just barely. Gotta love it. Why is there stalkers there? Well, they wanted to catch that raven. There was one that was so close. Just one stalker would have ended that shit. Ooh, can the Hellion and Reaper get kills? Three. Oh, four, big kills, big kills, five. big kills. Yeah, that that's was actually, actually good. good damage. Yeah, so we're looking at seven to no workers for for uh, Nicarak. Ah, uh, yeah, it's 49 49, which is actually even worker count. Very surprising. And it gets an observer. That's actually pretty huge, too. When he's against this many blank stalkers. Wow, Nickrack just doesn't stop making SCVs. That's actually really smart. Yeah, you, you could actually. Dude! S I would literally have no SCVs right now. He, he yes, can do we a know. Boys pull right. with this. He should we pull know. the boys, yeah. Actually, I think. He, yeah, no, it's a CC. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah actually, yeah. It would be good because there's no splash yeah, damage yet. Yeah, the Templar Yeah, he can pull the yet. boys now. He's gonna do it. He's doing it. He he's pulling the boys. Oh. He's going for the timing. Let's go. He's got he made extra mines. SCVs. No, no, no. So they he's would transferring. Die. He's transferring. Really? Yeah, he's being. No, he's no, no, transferring. No no no, no. no, no, no. I don't believe. Oh, but the boss. Uh, the Classico. Uh, El Classico. I want Art oh, to win. Man. I want Art to win because I want to see a game three series with these guys. It's a three season. Can Cosmic Sapphire? I mean, coming? this looks. It is good. Cosmic Sapphire, so anything's possible. Yo, Florencio has the best name for this. He accidentally said Cosmic Sapphire. Oh my god, a proxy gate. Safari. Oh, uh, yeah, he keeps it, and I'm like, yo, I think they should change the name. I'm like, it's like a Safari cosmic in space. Safari. Isn't that awesome? Yo, look at that third That's base in good, the pro yeah. in the Terran <laughs> main. Look at that third base. Look at that third base what, in the Terran what main. What third yeah, base? Yeah, he's got like the. It was the main base, look at it. Yeah, he's he, not even doing shit. He's not, yeah, oh, he's not it's SCV. not finished. Oh, that's actually a big mistake. He doesn't yeah. It's been like that for two either. minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, gonna, he's gonna think he can just land um, it. And... Wait, he's Bruh, gonna... it's been like that for Dude, so he's long. He's gonna be molding wait, so hard when he's wait, just wait, like, wait, where's the third base? But guys, guys, are we gonna <laughs> see this? Widow mines in a factory are gonna scout zealots in a proxy game. What the fuck? Bro, look at that. The factory, I think, scouted it. Look at that third base, bro. Yeah, best third base. It was just. A I mean, as Terran <laughs> players, this is just pain. like every second that goes by. Like, how does this guy not know what's happening? Oh, oh my! my he's God. still. I told you he was transferring SCVs. Like, what is he doing? What yeah. is? This? Oh, he just noticed it. This game. This game is something else. Like, let's be real here. Uh, this is just to the maximum, it. and he went three minutes without realizing the CC was. <laughs> like that is some bronze leagues <laughs> type stuff right there. Yeah, I mean, well. I think the blank stalkers fucked it, that fucked his, his build was so tight though like I, I don't think it's he true. realized it's he could true. he could have had the third CC and pulled the boys in attack and still been fine and then his macro is so good he would have been 
he would have been not dead. He literally could have pulled the boys, even lost his own in trades, and been not dead. It's true. Anyway. Yeah. Dude, this long it's distance done, mining done. is actually, like, efficient. Because <laughs> oh. he has so many SUVs. Okay. Look, look Let's at not this. troll that Look hard. at this in the natural <laughs> of the Nicorac. Invisible men coming in. Does he cancel the missile turret? No, he's Boy. not going for the missile. Oh, my it. God. He had a chance to... Oh, my God. Combat oh, shield turret. Oh, the is going to finish. Nice DT micro. I know you guys don't like to hear that, but... Uh, we Imagine really turtling <laughs> versus Protoss. I can't believe All it. All good though. He he kind of needed to lose ten SCVs there. Like, let's be real here. Because <laughs> he didn't. Say, he was if he was playing an NA, he would have lost them anyway when they were fighting as part of the army. Yeah, yeah. And also oh, like. Oh, storm drops. But that was a horrible second storm. Oh drop. yeah, that was bad. Prism. Oh my god. What a throw. Uh, you removed the nameplates. I think. NA game, not gonna lie, like they're playing like true NA players. Well, I'll be honest, what he should have done with those storms is just hit the SCVs. Like that would have been the call, don't you think? Like it, there were so uh, many fucked up there, he would have that they, they could have got like there was uh, well, oversaturation for a second. It's complicated because he's draining the medevac energy, but Nickrack also has to make Vikings for the Colossus, so he can't really afford to make medevacs right now. But his energy is really low, so he's not gonna have much healing. Dude, so this is turret. This missile turret got the war prison. Well, Just I, one missile turret. I, I got you, uh, Yuri, because as you may know, like Wootsicle would say, you know, because Marines are basically just free, so. <laughs> True. Not as free, not as free as carrier okay. interceptors. Big fight. <laughs> Marines are dying to uh, Colossus. Big no, surprise. He... Oh, he doesn't have enough. Super battery, safe this Protoss player. Uh, okay. Decent oh, he... pickup, but he's not going. Wait, wait, wait. No, the game's over. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Well, boys, looks like we got a PvP finals. You guys are. No, no, it's it's 1 1. It's isn't 1 it? 1. No. Yeah. Yeah, oh, turn on the first oh, game. Oh, yeah, that is. We yeah, do yeah. have a game 3. That's what I was hoping for. I'm... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mistakes were Please made. Don't, don't, don't tear that away from us. Don't say it's a PvP final. It's 1-1. One, one. <laughs> yeah, it's 1-1. One, one. You're like, no, for the love of God. Trust me. Like, actually, it depends, but PvP can be good. It depends, like, how it goes. Because sometimes, like, I don't blame the players, but you'll get an ultra try-hard PvP, Map. and it's exciting for no one. But let's be honest. That's, like, where nothing happens for, like, you know, you'll see, like, little skirmishes, and that's it. And, you know. Yeah. And it's 25 minute games, and you're like molding because, yeah. Some of those are good though, when they start making blink DTs and disruptors. That's yeah, when yeah. it starts getting interesting. Oh yeah, when it, yeah, they can be good, but there's also ones where they're like just so cautious. And, yeah. But that yeah, blink stalkers and blink DTs and D, uh, disruptors is where, where it's at. One one. Saw you boys. Okay. Saw you Yuri. Top right hand corner. Playing for Team Platinum Heroes. It is the pink Polish Protoss art. Mr. Skyler. Bottom left, Sidestorm, Terran, Nicorette. All right. You know what? We haven't seen one proxy, Rex. I'm disappointed. This guy's a macro U. Dude's an EU player. You think they actually? I can't say that. He actually proxy racks Riser like three times in a row, or like one time, one game. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen him do it. Yeah. Uh, I was excited sometimes. Like honestly, you guys are saying it. Some days it's rough, and it's a rough time for the Korean players. But I've been liking, like Han Mono's has some of the funnest series to catch sometimes. Uh, yeah. being a cheeky player that he is, but... He plays like a proper Korea server player? Yeah. His TVT is interesting, but like, I've actually seen, which I like, was surprised because nobody had been doing it, and you know, in any tournaments, the cheekiness has to come out, like, and all the TVTs, I'm like, why is nobody doing Proxy Marauder, and it's been coming back in the Korean server? Like, it it's because if you SCV scout, it's bad. That's oh, yeah. why. Yep. So it's kind of a gamble. You're gambling yeah. that the other guy doesn't SCV scout you. But like when you're in a mid-series or say you're against like somebody 
above your weight or I, I've seen it on other ones uh, and it's yeah it can work but it's like one of those builds where it's just very gambly and a lot of people are not willing to take the gamble I forgot the guy's name it was something really lewd but it was some player on an ESL Asia and Renegade and I were casting and they did proxy Marauder with a reactor first at the proxy it was crazy I was like what this guy's a madman he's going with Marines and then into Marauders I'd never seen anybody do that, and it worked. I don't know about that. And he beat, he like literally 2 0 Trigger with cheese. I think it was Trigger he 2 0'd. Uh, and he was like the underdog. He could have killed that SCB. Nah, no, actually you can't unless you make it zone. Because they just T-click into that space in the middle line where it can't be hit by Pro. He was out, he was stuck out. Well. Oh. Well, I don't know. EU players have just given up on trying to kill the SCV. They just allow it to finish and make a battery instead. Yeah. I mean, that's what I do, truthfully. Uh, no, it depends. Depends. You can pull some pro. Another way, you know, it's a uh, gamble, but because you're usually going to have one unit, you can pull some probes and actually get a kill on the bunker sometimes. Well, well you got the SCV. That's big. Yeah, I think he... Oh, he didn't. He he used the chrono. Oh, he doesn't want a super battery, though. He shouldn't. Have, okay. Okay, now he does. Well, well yeah, he, he didn't have any energy good. for a minute because he's been chronoing probes like a Chad. He's like, I don't care, but he took a ton of damage on these stalkers. Okay, so that was successful for Terran, I'd say. Just once, I'd like to see a charge opener. Like, forget blink. Everybody thinks it's dumb because it is. Uh, 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 uh. Draw, draw. Nope. I thought of you two, and especially Skylar yesterday. I had my first draw in a long time. Nice. Boy. I used to get one every season. Yeah, I was pissed off because it was uh, the only reason it, I literally uh, recalled probes before. And so I had DTs, dead. but if I didn't recall probes, my army was bigger and better. Both yeah. stocks are dead. They are. I've. Yeah. Well. So this is a three gate. Oh, okay. See? Now he's going three. Uh, yeah. He died because he went two last time. I just want to point out while this is going on, it's a uh, match point for Rainer and a laser. It's two two. Nice. Terran's doing the same thing they did game one, though. Or actually, no. Up and came. Yeah. Nah. No, he's making a Banshee. Yep, Banshee. Nickrack did this against another Protoss player that we casted, though. I can't remember. Oh, he did it against Riser. That's who he did it against. Uh, yeah, this is a this could be a pretty strong build. Uh, depending on how he goes, he's going to go Banshees and maybe a Liberator follow-up? Yeah, I want to see him pull uh, the boys. Yep. He pull does. Boys. Two base all in. Yep. He pulls <laughs> nine. Exactly. Uh. I mean, it's pretty all in but you can, if you get enough damage, you can transition you can, into stim and shields with the barracks. I, you can I, pull I, the boys three times. I yeah. got, I gotta say, whenever I hold this kind of bullshit, uh, th these builds can make you mauled sometimes, especially how I open. Yep. But like, I would have never been as good at it. it. When I do hold, I just think of Skylar. If it wasn't for Skylar from like, even like two years ago, Skylar, you're like, dude. Marine tank liberator pushes or with the cyclone or with and a boys pull are just too strong. Remember that? Uh, this is... practice. Uh, okay, well there's no battery at the third base, so if he pushes the third, he'll have a chance, but he's going to the natural, which is bad because there's two batteries there. Yeah, he needs to hit the third, exactly. And now he's a lot of time for the stalkers to go behind. He's not even stuff. looking for a battery at the third. That's kinda it's weird. Not, it's not even going uh cloak. Yeah, he could be sending the Banshees into the third. Oh, now there's an Immortal. Uh, yeah, this is looking rough. He's scanning. Rough. Might as well go close to that. Uh, losing that tank is huge. You have to have two tanks with these types of attacks. And he's going to lose a third tank, too. Yeah, okay, I think Protoss wins. Sus. Well, the Banshees in the Cyclone kind of helping with those Stalkers in the back, but I don't know. I don't know, boys. You can push to the left. You know what he needs to do is build more SCVs and do another boys pull. He 
should have been doing that behind us. Alright, what's the plan? Yeah, I don't know what the plan the is. ahead. I think he's just he is. an army. Well, he's getting a lot of value out of this little Marine Banshee hit squad, so... Yeah, but he's not macroing behind it. Oh, yeah, I'm in an upgrade. I'm a dumbass. He didn't pull that much. I'm totally not distracted. I think this, there's still a game, but I'd say Protoss is slightly ahead. He, he needs to pull more boys. Yeah, yeah actually, yeah, I... I mean... Mm. At this point, yeah, he's, he's going switched. five racks. Yeah, he's going all in. He's gonna pull boys this game. Why are those racks is like the furthest possible way? Oh no, oh. Stim and combat shields aren't done, and there's gonna be an observer coming here. Yeah, this is game. There's no tank. The tank on the high is ground. out of position. Yep. There's a tank that's about to pop, so I think it'll be fine. If he kills this observer, oh, that nice. helps. Okay, Art right, fell asleep at the wheel. We love to see it. I mean, that's, yeah, that still is pretty quick find. Like, even it, it's pretty easy to do for anybody. But, like, yeah, his window of opportunity to just end it is over. Stem's going to finish. Oh, because he's taking a fourth base. That's why. Yeah, you know, combat shields there. Yeah, it was the second pull, he dropped. Pull it, everything but... on the mat. SCV, all of that. Well, we got Dark Devil right, well, in charge. And plus one coming behind this. So pull two base all in, and Protoss yes. is taking a fourth base, which I'll never understand. But, okay. Why is he bringing the mule? Uh, I don't hate a fourth behind us because he's got now at this point he's got seven gates right. He's got charge plus one and DT. Yeah, gonna... but I mean, when you scout a two base all in, you you don't need a fourth base to yeah, hold. Yeah, you, no, your it, entire goal is to just hold the attack. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's true, and that's what something I do too. I guess I play like an EU Protoss. No wonder they uh, <laughs> lose so much then. I guess, huh? Well, we'll see. He wastes his scans. He has no scans. The main base. He has one scan. Yeah, one DT could go. He needs to kill that DT killing the tanks. Okay. Wait, is Terran winning? Hello? Yeah, Terran is winning. Terran, Terran broken? Sure. Yeah. Let's see, this is, uh... Nicarax uh, gonna right. win. Huh? That's just it. Nicarak too strong. Uh, uh, that was a good read. No I think way. he has this. I mean, there's a fourth base for Protoss. That sometimes that's why if you hold. Oh uh, no, it's more, over. It's, it's over. over. Yeah. DTs are coming. It's DTs. Over. Yeah, it's uh, desperation. DTs. Wait, though. what? Where's the DTs? Uh, the Nowhere to be seen. Uh, no wait, worries. what? Where's the DTs? And the natural. The are they DTs actually killed 35 workers behind this. No, why is he not making the natural? He has the money and gas for DTs. Well. I wouldn't say behind this, I'd say in front of this as part of the fight, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's pretty dead. But he has yeah. a fourth base. There's high Templar wide. Again, DTs, like you said, could actually have been winning this. Yeah, if he made what? DTs earlier, he would have won. Like, I mean, all his Nexuses are still alive. Like, let's 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 breathe in some copium here. I mean, maybe. Wait, Protoss what? Yeah, why is all the Nexus still alive? Yeah. All he's got to do is make a couple more gateways. And maybe there's still a chance. I could see how this game is still playable. I understand the Archons, but, but uh, even yeah, if he defensively made a couple DTs, if he could have killed a lot of this. And yeah, DTs is Archons. the way forward here because he has Dark two Shrine. hands. He, he lost his Dark oh, yeah, Shrine. Okay. Archons are well, good, but. When you got tanks and bio. Oh, they're sweating for this. Oh no, they're actually oh, he holds. Are. He takes it. Yeah, but look at the left side. Yeah, the left side. Oh my what god. What the f Yeah, that's an army. Holy shit. It's okay. We have we have a backup nexus for a reason. Yeah, that's <laughs> I'll be honest, that is kinda why if you're playing base trade, you know if anybody knows base trades. This is actually pretty close. Side, though. Yeah, he, but he didn't build another dark shrine. Like Why is he not making a raven? That's true, rookie mistake. And why does he why does he have nothing in the gas? Oh but Nickrack just hella threw there. He lost all his moves for free. Yeah. He just oh, yeeted no. into He yeeted into Archons. Oh, no. oh my god. And we're gonna transpose into some janky macro game where Terran has no SCVs. Okay, well Dude, look at the gas. It's not making any Well gas. Terran doesn't have SCVs because the DTs were on the other side of the map, but yeah, Art actually killed more SCVs, but he's been a uh, probe printer this whole time, so I think Art just wins. Oh, I guess I got proven wrong. Why you make the backup Nexus yeah, for these scenarios? 
exactly. Like, the only thing is, you can laugh at me. Just if you targeted want. wrong. But this is why I like a ninja fourth base sometimes, and it's in cases like this because that throws the Terran off even more. Because they're like, oh, he's on three bases. I just win, and you're like, surprise. Yeah. Uh, what Terran has to do was kill the fourth and kill the third. Wait, wait, wait. What is Protoss doing? What is this witchcraft? What is this witchcraft? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, gets away with the magic. But it's it's kind of normalized in a way, other than the fact that Nicorac's not made SCVs and since the Nick's oh, administration. Oh. <laughs> since Watergate? Since Watergate, exactly. <laughs> God, no, it, it's oh. super over if we're being realistic here. Yeah, he's but in maybe the... turn can plot back in. Yeah, because Nicorak, or sorry, Art's been upgrading behind us. Well, Nicorak's trying to squeeze out infantry armor, but like 1 1 Protoss to 1 1 Terran, I think the army's just better for Protoss, you know? Yeah, I mean, Protoss has three bases in turn, but can't even saturate their natural expansion, so there's definitely some problems in this game for right. Terran. Well, problems for Terran. Art just casually walked by a medevac full of Marines going into the main with one Stalker and still gonna push forward. He's just gonna let yeah. this drop go into the third base with, uh, I don't know. Man, push it why didn't third. he just go in? He, he got scared. In yeah, he should have went in the yeah, main. Yeah, he got scared. He can. Well, that just needs to do Zealot printer and then just win. Oh. Okay, but now he goes in the main. But there's a recall available. Oh, there isn't a recall available. Okay. No, he recalled those probes for whatever reason. I actually, it was. No, he recalled the prism. Oh yeah, that is weird. He should have had a recall here, so he's gonna get even more probes. Yeah, and seven SCVs going down to zealots. Okay. I'm guessing. Weird Terran game. has a dream. The copium it goes hard in this game, but uh, I'm behind it. Oh dear lord! No, no, no! Can't do that. Leave. No, nope, can't do. No. Okay. Leave the game. Hey, F10 plus N works here, I heard. Uh, you should type in has left the game. That's There's good too. Strategy. Yeah, anything to win. Just once I want to see it at a higher level. Because I've never seen anybody at a higher level do that. But yeah, this is Copium. This Thanks, because it's the oldest trick in the book. If yeah. you fall for that one. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, exactly. Like, nobody falls for it, but... It's still worth a shot. And the natural fell, and the main base is going to the third. Storm. Oh, oh, and oh. there's everything. Oh. 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 Storm oh, sandwich. Shit. Can I get a cell throw in chat? Not <laughs> no. even 4:28 p.m. No, well played. Good. It was a good. It was a good series. Wow, a laser one. Laser one. Oh boy, old man. Art's asking, I mean... Yeah. I'm Fuck gonna it. ladder. I guess we're gonna give the walkover. Art's forfeiting. I was like, well, he can is? we do the finals tomorrow? Like, he's like, what time? Oh, no. I could probably. Okay. Well, I'm gonna head out then. All right. Yeah. Fuck it. We'll give him the walkover. Fine. Uh, <laughs> casting. Yeah, Probably not the greatest time to be having a tournament. No, it actually, it actually isn't. It actually isn't, but... I'm probably going to get back on stream after a bit here, too. But yeah, it was probably the worst time we could... Well, not worst time, but... Eh. Alright, I'm out. Thanks, my dude. Yeah, I'll see you guys. Thank you, thank you. Yuri and Skylar and Mousy and King Stark.
So we got a war walk over. Well, guys, thank you, everybody. Max Pax wins. Thank you, Yuri.